if there's anybody watching this right now that, let's say, loved the Batman Forever review, and you went into the Batman and Robin review with great anticipation, if I let them down in any way, then I really want to apologize. Because it wasn't my intention. My intention was just to entertain. It's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and Newt and Crystal. Okay, I'm going to dress up this time because you guys complained last time. And I'm Batman. This is like when two girls come to the prom in the same dress. Where's your Robin suit? I was Robin last time. Yeah, but we can't both be Batman. You didn't dress like Batgirl for this one? She's in this movie. <laughs> I like Poison Ivy better. <sighs> I said I was going to do Poison Ivy last time. This is a mess, yeah. much like the film Batman and Robin. <laughs> Let's talk about Batman and Robin. Best yes. film ever. <laughs> So we learned, we did a commentary track tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we learned that Crystal's bad with the stages of grieving. <laughs> because she thought she loved this movie. She's still getting over our breakup. Yeah. <laughs> she really thought she loved this movie. And as we were watching it, it became very clear that she did not love this movie. No, but, I did! <laughs> and the whole time she's like, no, it's great. It's supposed to be like that. And then like midway through, you're like, you were getting frustrated. I'm I like, Crystal, what you're talking about. you said this movie's good. And you're like, yeah, it's great. I love it. It's like she she went through all the stages <laughs> except for acceptance. I will never hit acceptance. Oh, my God. Ever in my life. So, yes, Batman and Robin. Still yes. great, great. So this came out when I was like seven. And no one. And first off, no one has ever made fun of this movie on the Internet. No, no. It's no, we're the brand first new territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's such I mean, a great movie. Yeah. 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 <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so this is what made me like stop being into Batman yeah. for a few years. Uh, I I didn't hate it when I saw it because I was seven. I was yeah. like, oh, whatever. It's cool, I guess. But like it was the first time I saw a Batman thing where I had no desire to rewatch it anytime soon. Yeah. I did watch it a couple more times, but like I never owned it. I didn't get excited for like a sequel. I was excited for this one. I had like a little poster that came in like the newspaper and stuff. But like, whereas Batman Forever, I was like, this is the greatest movie ever made. This is perfect. This one, I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess that was Batman. So MTV did a, uh, and it's weird to hear inside this it's, mask. It's weird to look at yeah. both of you right now. Yeah. I feel this like I'm gonna... looking at a three-year-old and a serial killer, because I also see half your eye. It's fine. Um, <sighs> MTV, when this movie was coming out, did a uh, <laughs> making of thing. Yeah. And I... Unlike the last one where I saw the Disney Adventure, which a lot of people in the comments were like, I remember that. They book. all agreed. Yeah, yeah they're like, yeah, great. I remember Disney Adventure. Um, I saw where this movie was going and I was like, nope. So in 1997, I was in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. My mom dropped my brother and off, my brother and I off at the AMC theater in our town. And I got to the point where they put their feet together and blades come out and I walked out. <laughs> And I should have known. I was like, well, I'm going to go see it because it's opening weekend, whatever. I see all the Batman movies. I didn't revisit. I left the movie theater, mm. stayed in the lobby and played Tekken with an usher, my brother and some other dude until my mom came to pick us up. Um, I didn't see this movie again until I was in college. Yeah. And they used to do like a bad movie night yeah. in college with like friends of mine. That's where I saw a lot of cool movies. Then I watched it then. And I was just like. This movie's like a fever dream. Mm -hmm. Like, again, this is in a world before, this is in a world post Tim Burton Batman, yeah. mm -hmm. pre Kevin Feige Marvel, yeah. mm -hmm. where we're in that like ungodly the, the area. awkward teen years we're, of superhero yeah, movies. Yeah, we're in the the that. the Tank Girl, uh, <gasps> fucking um, Steel era of superhero movies. Meteor yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, blank man. <laughs> uh, and I, I never felt the need to revisit this movie. Yeah. I tried to go, well, it's camp. You said that last it time. Is. And it then is. we you watched it. it. We watched it again today, and I take back everything I said last time. This movie is fucking trash. Yes. 
It is campy and it's fine and it's no, it's sixties. Listen to our commentary track on Patreon. You were miserable <laughs> watching this. Well, to be fair, she was hanging out with us. Yeah, yeah um, I think the, the, the so I, some people always say, "Oh, it's like the old TV show." No, and the meant, TV show was funny. I just said that last time, and you guys said I was bullshit. I was full of shit. <laughs> so I mean, yes, full of shit, there's but... nothing. There's very few things in this that are funny on purpose. Yes, anything that you think is funny in this. Like, it's not intentional. Like, I mean, the, the ice puns aren't like, haha, that's so clever. Mm. They're like, oh my God, that's so stupid. There they are, thought that would uh, work. There are 27 ice puns in this movie. I counted. Yeah. That's yeah. it? Um, so let's go into wow. the little bit of this. Uh, according to John Glover, Joel Schumacher would sit on a crane with a megaphone and yell, remember everyone, this is a cartoon. Yeah. 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 Uh, most of the scenes with Batgirl were cut because she gained too much weight during the production. Her costume didn't fit. So she had a uh, sort of Ben Affleck type yeah. uh, situation during this, whereas the uh, the Justice League, yeah. he gained a shit ton of weight from his divorce. It but wasn't I, that bad. It's noticeable. But when you're designing a costume yeah. for someone who's fit and then they start packing like, up pounds during filming, it's an issue. Michelle Pfeiffer in Batman Returns had to be vacuum sealed into her costume. Yeah. But it's like, but then I, I do definitely remember um, Joel Schumacher attacking critics who made fun of her weight. Yeah. Because fuck those dudes. Like, no. unfortunately, that happens, especially like a young no. woman in yeah. Hollywood and stuff like that. So fuck those people. But she was miscast. This oh, movie was yeah. terribly was written. Miscast. The Batgirl costume was fucking stupid until they repainted it and gave it to Dina Meyer. Yeah. Um, uh, Pat Hingle and Michael Guff were the only two people to be in all four of them. I think it's Go. Michael Go. I could be wrong, though. I but anyway, yes. I rewatched Horror of the oh, Wax yeah. Museum a couple <laughs> nights ago, which he's in. I went to a wax museum. You, you did? did? Yes, it'll be on Patreon. Uh... Part of it is video and part of it is a slideshow because they wouldn't stop blasting copyrighted <laughs> music all throughout the museum. Uh, they have a George Clooney area and it's in a wedding chapel and they have wedding dresses you can pull off the wall and throw over you and take a picture with George Clooney. What not his wife's name like anal? <laughs> what's what? his, wi is, what's his wife's name? I don't think it's Amy. Is it? No. Oh. You ever see, there's a liquor store near us named Canals, and the sea will always burn off, and it'll always say Angels. <laughs> and I'm I'm a f almost 40-year-old man. I'll drive past and go, <laughs> and I'll go, this is why I'm going to be alone forever, and when I die, my cat's going to eat my eyeball. Yes. yes. Um, and I'm going to yeah. wear this mask the entire episode. Yes. Uh, Kane Hodder was Joel Schumacher's first choice to play Bane, and the studio fought him on it because they said no, but yeah. that would have been fucking awesome because yeah. Kane Hodder is the man. He that played cool. Jason in really the cool. most Friday the 13th. Yes. Oh, I love him. Over. Apparently, he's like the sweetest Here, guy. He's he was also in Daredevil with Ben yes, Affleck. Yes, he's in it for like five he, seconds. Yeah. He's yeah. at um, tons and tons of he, horror cons. He's also the dude who catches Charlize Theron in Monster. Oh. Because he was the stunt chore not I choreographer. Seen Monster in a oh, really? Time. Monster's great. Yeah. Directed by Patty Jenkins yes. when a studio goes. You can direct it, but you can't write it because we don't want a Wonder Woman 1984 situation yes. on our hands. Uh, Corey Haim is briefly visible as the biker game mem gang yeah. member. I have a funny story with Corey Haim that I'm not going to tell. Corey Haim and uh, Jason Mewes. I can't tell that story because <laughs> one of them is still alive. Um, Dr. Jason Woodrew, who is played by John Glover. Yeah is playing uh, the comic villain Floronic Man. Who was in Swamp, Swamp Thing, Thing recently. I mean, yeah. Swamp Thing is my third favorite DC character. So yeah, I got to finish that show. Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, yeah, so let's get into... Oh, and McGregor Syndrome is named after Peter McGregor Scott, who was yep. the producer of the movie. Which was then used in the Arrowverse. It's yes. a disease in the Arrowverse CW shows, yeah. McGregor's Syndrome. So we got through all this bullshit. Let's yes. get into this. So the movie begins movie. much like Batman Forever with the swooping credits. Although yeah. they don't swoop, they kind of come together and And it looks forward. like the yeah. Blunt Man and Chronic yeah. movie credits and Jay and yeah. Silent Bob Strike Back. And then we, I'm drinking whiskey and dressed as Batman this time, but I'm not drunk because I have work to do after we finish. Yes. And uh, the music is kind of rehashed from Elliot Goldenthal, yeah. the composer of Alien 3. Yes. Uh, and then we see the new logo. I like that Batman and Robin logo. I always I thought like that it. logo was cool because yeah. 
But clearly, this movie is trying to turn Robin into Nightwing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which you see his suit, and it's just the Nightwing suit with a cape and red. But they adopted it later because in the recent, well, not recent, but the New yeah. 52, they gave him the red. The red, S. yeah. Yeah. Um, so they clearly had that in mind, yeah. like they were going to go and in that use direction. they so many times in the movie, too. Yeah. But then they use it at Great Adventure. For the Batman and Robin, the chiller ride. Yes, which was always fucking broken. The last time that I had ever been to Great Adventure was in 1997 when that ride came out. Seriously? I I watched a dude get stabbed, Mm -hmm. and my mom said, we're never going back to Great Adventure. We should go to Great Adventure. I would love to. I love it. Can we go dressed as this? Yes. (laughs) They also Uh, had the new ride, the Jersey Devil. Looks a lot of fun. Ooh. Yeah. So it opens up with the suit up scene. Yeah. Only this time we get the butts right away. Butts, dicks, butts, dicks. Yes. Uh, Bat- Batman Forever, we had to wait for that butt yeah. for the sonar suit. Here, we get them right away. Yeah, mm-hmm. we do. And uh, yeah, so they're suiting up. They have all their, you know, their little outfits. They yeah. both have their own little chambers, which is in uh, the Batman and Robin video game. I play that with Mike. And, oh, yeah, I remember have, that episode. Yeah, yeah, they have like their own little chambers. <laughs> so they come out and we see the new car and it sucks. Some glowing disco ball piece yeah. of shit. You said like... Bad guys are trying to shoot at Batman all the time, so clearly, why not not have a cockpit yeah, and just have your head exposed? Drive just his window down. And then also, he we've seen in other movies, he has passengers sometimes. Yeah. You know, let's get rid of that passenger seat. So if he has to arrest someone just or drag save him behind someone, it, just drag like him behind him. Him. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, we so, see later how things just magically appear in different areas anyway. Yeah. So the car comes up. Batman gets in the car. Yeah. And then yep. Robin is like, now Wait. he's the one who breaks the tone. He's like, I want a car. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. <laughs> I want a car. Everyone loves the car. Why can't I Chicks have it? Chicks car. dig the car. Yeah. And then George Clooney goes, this is why Superman works alone because his head is on a fucking... St- yeah. He's like a Funko Pop <laughs> fucking bobblehead this entire movie. So he takes off. And then we were talking about, like, this doesn't make any sense. So the Batmobile has to come up mm-hmm. out of a platform. Yeah. Okay, then it needs to drive How's off. Batman drive like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Red Wing, is that was the name of Red Bird? Is that the name of the Red motorcycle? Bird? Yeah. Yeah. It has to come up out of the same platform and then out, open of a out of a yeah. with neon lights inside, so you know it's Who Robin's. builds those? Does Alfred have to do that? I don't know. But I'm like, Alfred what if there's builds everything? What if there's like a night where like Batman is out of town doing Are he something? Sick? Yes. What if there's something like that? Robin has to go, and he, if he's not allowed to drive the car, does he have to wait for the car to come up and then get in the car? Move it. Drive, well, you know we can drive the car. <laughs> yeah. The previous movie. Yeah. And drive it out of well, the way. And it's, the like, it's like it's like an part, like a yeah. uh, driveway. You got to back the car yeah. up before you can get out. How many other things are under that platform? <laughs> Did he build a new boat and yeah. a new plane? That How has many to come cars out? does Batman have though, and where are they located? The bat Segway. The bat <laughs> yes. boat. The helicopter so they, is that also down there? Could be. Yeah. Uh, and I'm then this is where Walker. we see Alfred is very sick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No one else notices it through most of the movie. Yeah, Alfred does a lot of things without people noticing in this Poor series. <laughs> he lets Vicky Vale in and no one notices he until she's in costumes. He, he uh, what's his niece over at well, yeah, He's it, making like... people rubber costumes. What if Alfred's also the person who's, he hates Bruce Wayne so much at this point. He's also making the costumes for all the villains. <laughs> Remember when you asked the other one, like, who's making Two-Face's guy's costumes? Alfred's like, yes, Alfred. fuck that fucking dude. So, so And his 35-year-old housemate. Yeah. So Commissioner Gordon calls Batman. Mm-hmm. On the, the whatever, uh, and Commissioner Gordon looks like a general now for some yeah, reason. Commissioner yeah. Jordan, Commissioner Gordon is Commissioner very, Jordan. <laughs> Commissioner Jordan, Michael Jordan. <laughs> he dresses like Idia Amin in these movies. Do you know who Idia Amin is? Do you no. Ever no. He was. You ever see the Last King of Scotland? No. So oh, it was yeah. about a real guy who, during apartheid, yeah. he was a f- warlord and a cannibal. It's the one Forrest Whitaker played, right? Yes. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker, save the rebellion, save the future oh with his lazy eye. Yeah. Um, you know what's an awesome movie he's in? What? Ghost Dog. You ever see Ghost, Ghost Dog, Dog before? Wave of Samurai? That movie's fucking awesome. I need to watch it again. Yeah. I watched it on cable a million years ago. You look ago. amazing as Poison Ivy, by the oh, way. Oh, thank Let me just, you. Thank you. Yeah. No, but what, what You've about been drinking me? too much. I have been drinking. Um, you look better like an ad- oh. You look like an adult man in a onesie. <laughs> my cape. It doesn't yeah. help you, though. I have a cape. Oh, I already know I look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I bought this on Amazon. I was like, oh, man, we're going to use this once, and we're using 
heck the movie's money for it, but we've gotten some leverage out of it. We got some good. leverage yeah. out of a lot of our props. And it's the Affleck yeah. one, and Affleck's my favorite Batman, so. So, so he calls him, and mm. he's like, hey, Batman, there's a new villain in town. His name is Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. It's like, okay. 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 How long's he been around? Uh, Two years, yeah. we found out. Okay. No one knew about him. Was he creating yeah. other crime? Did Batman That's just these not Batman care about movies. him? It's always like it was just nothing happening in Gotham until a new costume person showed mm -hmm. up. Like it's like th th there's never a Batman movie where he's like, I mean, I'll get to Mister Freeze, but I'm fighting uh, the, the Killer Moth real quick. I gotta take care of that first. Do you think the news is like? Man, we're really hope that another villain shows up because we're really tired of showing the circus. <laughs> you know, like, yes, CNN's like ratings have yeah. dropped since certain people haven't been in power, and yeah. they go like, "I know we hate that person, but, but it's it was good really for good for ratings." You know. Um, so Mr. Freeze is freezing people at the museum to get diamonds because diamonds help him make ice. <laughs> well, because <laughs> diamonds are it. called ice, right? Exactly, Noob. So it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <sighs> which was terribly miscast. They originally wanted it's... Patrick Stewart. This was him on his weird, uh, yeah. like, this is him on his way out of popularity. This is before, this is two years before um, End of Days. Yes, which we've covered on this show. And because Collateral this point, damage. Like, chick, 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 chick. Wee. Yeah. And yeah, then like, I'm the governor. Yeah, everything after... Uh, Oh, fucking um, True Lies. Yeah. Although I did kind of like Eraser. But True Lies and everything was I've like... I've never seen Eraser. True Lies is a movie that gets kind of like overlooked. It's yeah. a really good movie. Yeah, but then it was like crap, 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 crap. The Governor. Governor. And then he did like a couple okay ones after um, that. You know but what yeah, movie? this, this is definitely one of the bad periods. He has a small yeah. cameo in The Rundown. The Rundown's a fucking great rundown's movie. Rundown's awesome. Yeah. I've never seen it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I never saw the one where his daughter old. was a zombie. No, I never saw. I think yeah. we might have it actually. I'm referencing a lot thing. of movies I haven't seen yet. So I have to hey, make a you list. Look, you look good in your costume. That's all that matters. Yeah. So right. he's there freezing like security he's guards brain, and stuff. And who who comes in and introduces themselves to him? Batman. <laughs> what, hey, what is the famous quote, Chris? Hey, freeze. I'm Batman. Well, he, she, you know, he just said okay. it. God damn it. Now, he's what's the famous quote me. that Freeze says to Batman afterwards? This is your favorite movie, and you said it was great. Yeah. Batman's on a dinosaur. I don't remember. What killed the dinosaurs? What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. How do you not remember that? But it would I be was funny if, enjoying like, the movie eating my fruit it would snacks. be funny <laughs> if Mr. Freeze then, he's like, what? he says, what kills the Ice Age? And then George Clooney goes into, well, there's a lot of factors. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of them didn't actually die. You know, mm -hmm. they just, the big ones died off, the smaller ones survived. And, you and know, then he's eventually like, evolved I, into birds he and just other shoots animals. Batman and leaves. <laughs> so Justin and I were talking before we knew that we were doing this today. We yeah. were driving, we were talking about Winston cigarettes because we were watching... Uh, uh, the mayor of East, uh, the mayor of East Town, which okay. is that show that's set in Delco mm. on HBO Max. Yeah, and one of the plot points is the killer's breath smelled like Winston cigarettes. And Justin goes, "Oh, Winston was who did those weird ads in the '60s with mm. the Flintstones, and the Flintstones were an adult show, but they were for kids and they yeah. sold cigarettes." So my whole thought process was, what if Fred Flintstone was the first human to get lung cancer, mm -hmm. and at his funeral they slid his coffin down the brontosaurus, and that mm -hmm. I was driving the work van today, and Justin and I were laughing at that, and I stopped at the red light, and I was like, "We're both adult men with like." Now I want to point out. I want to point out, Newt. <laughs> It's okay for you to laugh at cancer because you are a cancer I have survivor. A, I had cancer. However, Justin should not be laughing at that joke. Cancel Justin Silverman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then Robin bursts through the wall, but his and he makes the Robin logo. Yes. Crystal, you defend this movie. Can you can you explain that to us? It's Robin. No, but how does the motorcycle actually make a perfectly cut? Did he shoot it first? Did he magic? There's movie magic. The only movie magic. magic. She looks super hot as Poison Ivy, Tony. Fuck you. Stop it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she's okay. Have you seen me? <laughs> That's true. Clearly. You are. Don't worry. I mean, there'll be plenty who, of people that say I don't look good. Well, it's fine. Who has more people donating to them on that site we're not allowed to mention on YouTube by name? Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. So, not um, Patreon, the it other It reminded one. me <laughs> of uh, Gremlins 2. 
where the gremlin, oh, the yes! bat gremlin makes the Batman yeah. symbol with the TM. So yeah. that's the first. But yeah, this movie's terrible. But it's, it's just fine. It's just, it's fine. It's not it's fun. fine. Is it? But like, remember. You is guys want to shut up. You guys are there like criticizing every second... little bit of it. And I'm just sitting there eating fruit snacks going like. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is like Disney on Chris, ice. Crystal, Crystal. It, it is, is like Disney, Disney on ice. ice. Yeah. Crystal, we have the audio. You stop having fun pretty soon Let in this movie. Let me remember having fun. I like to remember the good times. Guys, I don't remember the bad times. All of these poison ivy things are things I bought you. <sighs> wow. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I just thought we, I, okay. I was, I was like, so yeah. Thank cool. you. Yes. Yeah. It straight up becomes Disney on ice. Yeah. Yes, it does. And the bad guys are skating around them. Did they ever do them. a Batman ice capades? They didn't do an ice one. There was like a traveling Batman show. Okay. For really? Yeah. And I think there was a Batman show at like one of the Six Flags or something. There was that. I remember. Yeah. It was based oh, on the 89 show. I think around like 2011, there was like a traveling okay. one that they did. But yeah, so the cute. ice skating guys are all that over the place. That was fine. And, and then Batman so and Robin long. are in the middle <laughs> holding their capes going like this. <laughs> it looks like this feel nice. <laughs> And then you have the, all the gobos and stuff like that. You see it all like all the lighting going around just like a nice show. Yes. So when Batman went to train with the League of Assassins, <laughs> yeah. was ice skating part of his training and with Liam Neeson? Yes. I, think, I said he is rich and he probably grew up like ice skating on like a pond on his property or something. I, I well, That doesn't bother me. The fact he that had to train Robin, though, he's like, hey. Put down the uh, aerobics laundry and let's go out here and skate. The fact that he had ice skates built into his shoes. Makes he's the most dangerous man in the world. <laughs> yeah, you can just slice anyone with James those. Bond is like, yo, I'm not that fucking crazy. <laughs> so yeah, they're, uh, they beat up the bad guys. They're yeah. chasing Freeze. Uh, he gets in his rocket. His tank turns into a rocket. Yeah. By the way, they were playing hockey with uh, the diamond that they were trying to take. So Mr. Freeze They're really go good at hockey all of a sudden. Mr. Freeze goes to space. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go after Was that him. always supposed to be a trap for Batman and Robin, or did he have a plan once he got the space? I don't think he had a plan at all. Okay. I think the Every movie villain been... in the last two movies have just fumbled into the plot. <laughs> yes. They're like, let's check what the script says. Yes. Can you imagine the movie just kept taking place in space, and it was just Batman awesome. in space? Well, do you know at one point there was supposed to be a Batman and Robin in the 60s versus Godzilla? That would have been And I feel like we were robbed fun. of that. We were. Yeah. We were. Can so, yeah. Like that? Robin and Batman fly onto the thing. And I say fly because the wire work is so fucking terrible. There's no way you can make me think that they were jumping. <laughs> it was and, so and great. They get their bat magnets to, cl yeah. to hang on to it. They break into the rocket and then Mr. Freeze freezes Batman. Yes, to the thing. Uh, and he's like, yeah, this countdown's going to blow you guys up. Ha ha ha. And then he puts his goggles on. It's the only time he, he wears, wears his, his goggles. Freeze goggles. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's literally the only time. Yeah. And then he, he turns into the Mothman. He has yeah, Mothman, which would have been cooler odd. if he had like ice wings. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then Batman and Robin. And the thing that we were talking to Crystal about was in 1997 when this movie came out, you were a toddler. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they talked about how extreme this movie, again, going yeah. back to the MTV thing. Yeah. It's the that's extreme. That's the thing. Crystal's like, yeah, it just wants to be dumb fun and stuff. I'm like, no, Crystal, we remember the yeah. advertising. They wanted you to I take this. The they Seriously. were like, hey, this is cool. Not not stupid fun. They were like, this is cool and extreme and mm -hmm. action packed. So Batman and Robin take the hatches to the jet. The, yeah. Mr. Freeze, okay. Mr. Freeze is a a, a scientist mm -hmm. who's a big muscular guy, but he's a scientist. Yeah. And his wife is dying, so he and he falls into chemicals and then he builds a super suit, a tank, yes. a rocket, yes. moth wings, a super gun. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Exactly. So Batman and Robin, uh, they... Wait, uh, wait, wait. I, I was thinking, because he has the moth wings. Mm -hmm. In my mind, like in an apartment down there somewhere, Killer Moth is like building his suit. He's like, ha ha, the wings are done. Everyone will know I'm Killer Moth. And then he looked out the window. He's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck's that shit? Fuck I it. think it's the second time I made a Killer Moth being Killer off Moth is joke. awesome. If they ever make a Batgirl movie, Killer Moth should be the villain. Because in Batgirl year one, he's the main Well, villain. write to Joss Whedon and tell him that well, that's... Well, he's not doing... No, it's the dudes who did... <laughs> I know, uh, I was just fucking with you. The, they did the fourth Bad Boys movie. and or No, they did the third Bad Boys yeah. movie that was called Bad Boys for Life. Which, which is, is stupid. Fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. Wait till the next one and call it Bad Boys for Life. Yeah. 
What studio made that? I have no idea. Know. Fucking call this soundtrack. adult man dressed as Batman. Yes, please. And that fucking dude who's <sighs> aged terribly, he's dying. Make a wish. We're yeah. going to write the Batgirl wow. movie. So, 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 Crystal, this is your favorite movie, and you yeah. said it's the best movie ever. ever made. Ever. What did you think of the CGI stunt doubles <laughs> for Batman and Robin I they were fantastic. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's weird, because when I saw your face and it was on there, you kind of did this. You're like... That was me so happy, grinning but it's so not hard. Even, I don't know. Like I, I, was I cringing. met a lot of happy people that go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, sorry. So, so you like the CGI stunt double? Yeah, it was great. Okay. The okay. real stunt double yeah. was in. So it's the first, <laughs> first of five times in this movie where I went, oh, Jesus Christ. You can see the stunt double. Yeah. So the, you see the stunt tables. So, so face. they land in a smokestack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mr. Freeze made a platform, whatever. It doesn't matter. Of ice, yeah. The the stunt double for Robin like lands mm -hmm. and then kind of turns back at the camera <laughs> enough so you can see and that like, it well, is that's not, not Chris, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, and yeah. then he turns back. It's like, why did they use that tape? Do you remember when uh, Captain Kirk fought the Gorn? Yes, and it's clearly not William Shatner. That's not even the worst example. No, there's I a know, couple but that's bad the first one that there's there's one Star Trek. I can't remember what it is. Kirk literally, he grows five inches and his hair gets a little bit longer. I'm like, that's ever, not him. You, you've seen Wet Hot American Summer, right? Yes. Where they, the guy on the motorcycle is clearly not yeah. the actor. <laughs> but there's a deleted scene where Paul Rudd is a black guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that movie's good. And those shows did are good, too. Did you just laugh so hard you almost choked yourself? I did. I had to, like... I'm yeah. going back to the choking sex story that we cut out of the uh, other episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, Newt. Uh, mm -hmm. No, Crystal. Yes. Fuck Newt. Crystal. Yeah. Okay. Robin gets frozen. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I mean, like, fuck you, not like... Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I got excited for a minute. Robin gets frozen. Yes. Remind me how Batman saves him. He picks him up and he puts him in some water and takes a laser and heats up the water. Okay. Oh, right, his laser. Yeah. He takes he his laser. laser. I but forgot. But how many times but do he... we mention that Batman has tons of gadgets he only uses once? He does that in almost all the movies. Yeah, but he that's like random a very... Gadgets. That's a very specific <laughs> gadget that would have helped him <laughs> earlier. He picks the rubber dummy of Robin up. <laughs> yeah. And just can't have you pick like them up have you ever had them. something frozen and you have to pick it up? Yeah, it's heavier. Yeah, and it's, it's hard strong. to get a grip on. Batman picks it up like Robin has a handle on him because yeah. he's in bright costume. Batman has picked up plenty of heavy things, and you see him tossing random heavy things before yeah. he can and pick I, up this twenty-five or thirty-five-year-old, thirty-eight <laughs> years old, yeah. thirty-eight-year-old man who lives with him. He was pushing thirty. He yeah. wasn't past thirty. And, and his girlfriend is like nothing weird about that. Yeah. yeah. So Robin turns into a rubber dummy. Yeah. And we said it's uh, the worst rubber. The the only other bad rubber dummy in a Batman movie was uh, General Zod and Batman, Batman vs Superman. Yes. Superman. Yeah. Which is really terrible. You no. Know Again, good? Zack Snyder. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to you talk know, shit about you. You know what a good rubber dummy is. In Dark Knight Rises, the one that I'm in, mm. uh, when Bane like drops the ta the, ta the plane and mm. he's holding on that sign, those are rubber dummies. But they're like they're because normally you wouldn't be moving. You know what's a worse rubber dummy? What you ever see Troy? Years ago, Achilles, yeah. Achilles, we have a magazine. Of yeah, it somewhere. Achilles kills. Uh, um, Eric Bana's character. Oh, and he drags him around. He drags him, yeah. and the suit. The so he drags him back to yeah, his yeah, yeah, city, yeah. and it's a rubber dummy, and the feet are jiggling because they're made of gelatin. <laughs> and in the theater, I laughed hysterically, and I was the projectionist, and everyone in the theater on opening night looked back at me, and I was like, "I'm gonna show myself." <laughs> Yo, we got to do Troy. Yeah, Troy's pretty funny. No, great. that movie makes me uncomfortable because Brad Pitt's in a, in such good shape that it makes me like mad at myself. I just like. Punch my dude, stomach. Dude, you've been, uh, dude. How are things? How are things? Because you've You're mentioned, right. I was you've mentioned there... in multiple episodes lately about how much you admire <laughs> really men's upset. physiques yeah, and how because, you're mad okay. that yours don't. So this is. I used to be in good shape. No. I used to be in solid shape, and in the last year, I've gotten in really bad shape, and I don't know if it's working at ScreenWave, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was looking at pictures of uh, four years ago of myself, and I was on a film set, and I had to have my eye pulled out, which you should enjoy, and I was wearing a really tight shirt, and I was like, damn, I still had six-pack abs. And now I look at things that I'm like, maybe it's because I'm gonna be 40, 
That's probably what it is. Yeah, and I'm just like, I need to do something about that because I want to be a really good shape. Well, well, well I'm you glad can't... you're working it into our reviews. Yeah, <laughs> people are noticing. I yeah, or so I, I might be gay. I don't know. <gasps> Maybe. Are anyway, you? am I? So anyway, you're not. <laughs> you're not trust me. So after trust that, me, you're not. Crystal, we meet a character that you're fond of after this mm -hmm. in Central America. Who is it again? Pamela. Pamela, Pamela Isley. Isley. Who's, uh, guys, stop me if you've heard this one before. She's just a dorky looking girl in glasses yep. with messy hair. Haven't seen that before, Some especially in this series. <laughs> in Some Swamp people have lived it, okay? I literally ripped off this entire scene for Swamp Zombies 2 for her character, because yeah. Len Kabazinski told me, we need like a computer hacker. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to write Crystal literally as the introduction mm -hmm. of Pamela Isley and Batman and Robin. And you know what? It's stuff like that that is why I haven't seen Swamp Zombies 2, because much like Batman and Robin ruined that series, I think Swamp Zombies 2 ruined the Swamp Zombie series. <laughs> well, and I know you guys are my friends, Well, but... much like Joel Schumacher, they're not bringing me back for the third <laughs> one. <so. laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we find out uh, Dr. Woodrow is having an auction to his multicultural team of terrorists. It's the, it's their, their UN whatever. Yeah, well, there's one that looks like a Soviet, which the Soviet there's, Well, there's yeah. a Soviet guy yeah. and girl. Yeah. There's a guy who looks like uh, Fidel Castro. Yeah. There's a there's guy who looks guy. like an African guy. Yeah. And it's they're very there. very cliche, very yes. stereotypic yes. Yeah. And he brings out poor Antonio Diego. <gasps> poor Bain Antonio. has a name in this, and it's and Antonio Diego. Diego. I hate guys named Antonio. They seem to be the worst. Behold, the ideal killing machine. I call this little number Bane. Bane of humanity. When it comes to Batman movies that have Bane and guys named Antonio in it, the other is, one's better. The other one's definitely I think better. We can all I think we can to... all agree on that. So yeah, Bane comes out, they pump the venom into him and he turns into Bane. Yeah, and it's- uh, But Pamela Isley's like, what have you done with my stuff? And then Dr. Woodrow's like, I'll take care of this hysterical woman while Bane is just in the room. Yeah. And then we were flexing. like, wait, did the, did the UN <laughs> guys leave? But then they didn't leave because no, later on he says, so that means like, well, option. everything we're about to see with Poison Ivy. Yeah. yeah. While that's happening, yeah. Bane is just like, Bane, Bane is just standing like this. And then the the UN people are like, huh. Okay. It's straight right. up Rocky well, I don't, I don't from Rocky I'm, Horror. It's exactly yeah, what it, it is. It was Rocky and Rocky Horror. Yeah. That's exactly so what it is. this came out in 1997. This was right on the tail end of uh, uh, Nightfall. Yeah. Where they introduced Bane and he basically, he broke Batman. He broke all the villains out of Arkham yeah. Asylum. He wore Batman down. He broke into the Batcave. He breaks Batman's back. Yeah. Jean-Paul Valley becomes Azriel Batman Ugh, with the yeah. tech suit. But so I get why Bane is in this movie because he was super popular at the time. Mm -hmm. But Bane is a thinking man's villain yes. in the comics. And in yeah. this, he's just no. like, <laughs> there's, he's great. Yeah. Though. There's so many other villains. Him. You could have cracked killer crocs like the go-to killer croc would have been the go-to. Yeah. I, I, see, I would have thought that, I would have loved to have seen Killer Croc, Croc connected to the Red Circus gang. Yeah. In the Burton movies, because okay. he's a circus yeah, villain, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but he might have not been that popular at that point. No, he was Bane popular. was popular at this point. Yeah. But it's like, I guess Poison Ivy was still popular I'm trying at this to think, point, what is, too. What's another example of like a newer character that was just shoehorned into something? Um, It's got to be out there. Yeah, I mean, Ghost in Ant-Man and Wasp. Is He's that a, a newer character? A newer character. Uh, I mean, okay. within the next, within the last 10 to yeah, 15 no, yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they've been a couple of those that they've yeah. done, you know. Uh, even Doomsday, like they were, Warner Brothers had a hard on yeah. for the Tim Burton movie and all yeah. that kind of stuff to get Doomsday into. Yeah, they were going to try Batman and shoot Doomsday. Superman. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, this would be like if Doomsday was in a Superman movie. And he's just Lex Luthor's henchman. Like, yeah. this is yeah. not the villain you use. They, they turn him into a du big dumb dummy, and yeah. he's a thinking man's villain. And it's funny, because I said that when, two years ago, before COVID and all that, uh, I went to Warner Brothers, and mm. we did a whole private backlot tour, and there's all the cool shit. All the Batman and Robin stuff is in a back corner. Yeah. But they have the picture... From this movie of, of them in the airport, of Poison Ivy and Bane, and he's he's dressed like Ben Grimm. Yeah. And I I I gotta 
put it here over Crystal's beautiful face. Um, <laughs> they have that picture. I just thought that was the funniest fucking thing ever. So, uh, Bane is played by Jeep Swenson. Who's uh, a wrestler. Who I forget his whole real name. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he was a wrestler. So he was one of those wrestlers where like he wrestled a lot. But he never had, as far as I can tell, he never had, except for maybe Jeep, he never had like a big character that really stood out and became yeah. like a household name. He's kind of like a, he seemed, from what I can tell, he seemed more like a mid-card guy. Yeah. But we looked up a fun fact. <laughs> in WCW, he wrestled in WCW, and he was like uh, the the coalition to end Hulkamania. It was like yeah. a faction that was going to end Hulk Hogan. And his name was the final solution. <laughs> and then uh, I bet you did why? not see that no coming. No one Google's yeah. things. So apparently, like researches things. A bunch of a bunch of Jewish viewers were writing to Ted Turner. Yeah, they were like your information. Okay. Yeah, and they changed not it to okay. like the something else solution, like the new solution or something like that. And they're like, oh, we did not know about. The final, I'm like, how do you not know about that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Jeep Swenson, he eventually died from like heart failure. I oh, think. really? Uh, but yeah, he, on he pay, looked the part. He looked yeah. the part. Yeah. I mean, maybe not the pointy cod piece. <laughs> maybe he would leave that out. It wasn't as good as the, the skull cod oh piece my gosh. later in the movie. That there was... were so many fantastic cod pieces yeah. in this. So uh, Pamela is being yelled at by Woodrow because mm-hmm. he's yeah, like, he's like, he's a dick. He's like, Wayne pulled our funding. We need other people to. Why would things. Wayne be funding that in the first place? Well, it could be like he funds with weird Edward things. Nygma. He was yeah, funding it, exactly. and then he, he heard was... more about it. But okay, after Edward Nygma, he's be like, "Hey, we need to have a full audit. We need to just shut everything down." Yes, I don't think he actually knows what he's funding because he's just randomly funding everything. Yeah, he no, because he is. just goes around to different departments. He goes, "Does it come in black?" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's like berating him for this, yeah. and. Dr. Woodrow throws her into all of the experiments. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like all that. of the all of the chemicals that he needs to make more beans to sell. Yeah. yeah. And then he's happy about it. He's like, ah, yes, all this acid and oh, stuff. She just well, wants to make sure her plants don't go extinct. That's all. Yeah. I get it. She prefers plants. I get it. She doesn't like humans. She doesn't like people. Mm. She just wants to save these I plants. I hate plants. I worked at a garden. You seriously hate plants? I worked at a garden center. I hate humans. I worked at a garden center and I I wish Karen was a word back then because then I would have a word to call all the fucking women that came into this place just to piss people off. Just older white suburban women come in and here's the thing. I was one of the cashiers, right? Three of the other cashiers were like uh, botanists and horticulture experts. I wasn't. In the garden, you were a budding superstar. Yes, <laughs> in the garden center, there were people who worked with the plants and could answer all your questions about the plants. Yeah. These oh. old ladies. <laughs> when do you think they decided to ask questions about the plants? When you were around. When I was about to ring them up with lines out the door. Mother's Day at a garden center is one of the worst experiences but what you could ever have you? in the garden of Just, Tony. I can't, does, baby. This, does this need a lot of sunlight? I'm like, I don't know, lady. It yeah. says it on their tag. Are you kidding it's me? It's on the on tag. It. There's people down there. You could ask, does this, can I water it like this? I'm like, I don't fucking what? know. Can Just, I pour, can I pour soda into this? <laughs> I'm like, can I just go <laughs> home? This job is terrible. It was awful. I hate it. So there you was hate one plants because of because of these yes. old Karens. Yes. That uh, is upsetting. There was an old woman who drove in one day, right? <laughs> she like drove into the, into store. the fucking front of the place. You yes. know what's funny? You know what's funny? <laughs> not that not this particular story. There was an old person who drove into the light pole and it fell in the oh parking lot. Oh my god. Uh, we had so, the where the fuck are you? So what? she drove into the parking lot. Okay. Walks in with sunglasses and bandages on her eye. <laughs> oh, you told me this before. And she's like, I can't see very well. Can I have someone assist me around the garden center? So someone assisted her. And it was you. We rang her up. No, not me. Oh. We rang her up. And then I watched her after telling everyone she can't see well, get into her car and then drive away. 
And I hope to God she drove into a wall and didn't kill anyone else. And I hope those plants lit on fire. Oh my God. Well, how do you feel about that, Pamela Isley? Yeah. I'm actually really upset by this. I love plants. Like, I love my rose, uh, I have rose bushes. Maybe I just I have, hate garden centers and not you plants hate. exactly. Yeah. However, my allergies have been going pretty nuts lately. You so. have to get a Venus fly. I, I love Venus fly traps. Okay, at the garden center, I was the one guy who learned how to grow carnivorous plants. They're, they're actually pretty, they're really yeah. difficult to grow. So yeah. I had a, a pitcher plant, Venus flytrap, and the octopus plant. I, I did such a good job at growing them. The octopus plant like grew a flower. It was oh, great. Oh, those are hurt. yeah. Yeah, and then I, you know, the weather changed. I got like lights for the, the solar lights oh, and you're whatnot. Not supposed to, you're, they're supposed to go into dormitory um, season. Well, no, you're supposed to heat them up. Well, either way, it didn't matter because Hurricane Sandy came along and knocked out the power to my house and they froze to death. I, I grew the no. plant from Dennis the Menace. <laughs> and it only opened one time every 40 years every 40 yeah. years and when when we were when we were doing the nerd episode yeah and i was making that joke and james was like really and i was yes. like no i'm watch yeah. so anyway yeah. right, pamela isley gets thrown into the center yeah, of the chemicals earth, I guess. uh then we go back to the bat cave mm -hmm. and they're watching on tv mr freeze falling into the chemicals and apparently yeah. his his lab had 10 cameramen who all knew were all the important strategic stuff. shots Again, uh, same thing in batman forever where all of a sudden um the riddler was just able to you said it right that time <laughs> did i yeah i was, I was <laughs> actually thinking as i was saying it yeah. um was able to change the camera the security footage yes are you okay i'm it's like trying to open and close my eyes because I have an air eyelash in my eye. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> yeah. And yes, for some reason, cameras are very odd in these Yeah, movies. and then in this scene, uh, Alfred is like going, oh, on like the bat suit and, and no one no notices one he's notices. sick. Yeah, Poor Bruce Wayne's Alfred. kind of a, like a dick. Yeah. And he's like, this fucking old British fuck, like, yeah. what's your problem? Go yeah. make me some fucking fishy swa, you old fuck. Yeah, so yeah. they talk about how, like, uh, Go make food for me and my 35-year-old <laughs> manservant. So anyway, uh, Mr. Freeze's wife was dying Nora. from the Nora. disease. Nora. Mm -hmm. Uh, he froze her, he put her in stasis. Do you remember the first time you ever saw Heart of Ice? Yeah. I, cause... It's 1992 really is when it started. I was a little kid. I still remember the first time I ever learned that Batman the Animated Series was happening. Yeah. I was in Eckerd Drug and I was flipping through oh, Wizard Magazine. Oh, Eckerd. Mag Holy shit. Eckerd I haven't Drug. heard that name I was forever. flipping through Wizard Magazine. I saw there was going to be a Batman thing and they showed all yeah. of it. I'm like, oh my God. So I remember sitting down. Uh, Cat in the Claw was the first ever episode. Yes. And then on Leather Wings. But the third episode was uh, Heart of Ice. It might have been three or four. Third or fourth. And it totally reinvented Mr. Mr. Freeze because what he was like Captain Zero yeah, and then Captain in the, Zero, the old show he was like a Russian stupid. crazy guy yeah and then Paul Dini and Bruce Tim gave him this like yeah. pathos and I was like oh my god like it's so emotionally resonant and then they tried to do this but in a world where it doesn't Makes sense. No, they to weren't do married that? to that no. idea. They, yeah, it's so, so in stupid the, you know, how they Mr. Freeze's white, it, Mr. Freeze is the ultimate in that universe. The ends justify the means. He's a villain because he's trying to save his wife. Yeah. yeah. It's a do I save, do I steal a loaf of bread to save, to feed my family yeah. kind of yeah. thing. And it works so beautifully there. And uh, the guy who played, because Victor Buono, I think, was played Mr. Freeze in the 60s yeah. show. The guy who did the voice of Mr. Freeze on the show was a Spanish actor who was very, like, vibrant, and they yeah. had to keep dialing him back to be that voice. Yeah. And his Nora is so beautiful in that. Yeah. And you see this, and you're like, they cast they, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, who's just a staggering, screaming ice lunatic. And they do play it down a lot. They they have his random girl or whatever it is. Yeah, Vivica why is no reason? Girlfriend. All, all these villains. He's like, I miss my wife so much. Anyway, here's Vivica A. Fox I'm gonna in a bang trans Vivica I mean, she rocks suit. in front of my Stunning, yeah. and she was sexy yeah. as hell. Yeah. And for some reason, same thing with Two Face and Riddle. Like, why do they all gotta have these sexy co? Yeah, I mean, why like not? It's, it's Deborah so Mazur and Halle Berry are like, yeah, like not Halle Berry, no, Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. We're gonna yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. How do you confuse <laughs> those two? I don't see. Color. <laughs> they're both sexy. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh, because we we're talking about Catwoman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. they. They're like. How broken are you that you're like, I'm with this fucking half purple face screaming <laughs> fucking idiot. I mean, um, they, they were very yeah, dumb in that. Yeah. So but. back at Central America, mm -hmm. 
you know, uh, what you call it, uh, Dr. Woodrow has sold Bane to someone. He's going to yeah. overnight mail the serum. Yeah. Uh, and then Poison Ivy comes out of the ground. In an elevator. Yes, it's- and then she comes out of the ground again, again in another, another show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I love her coming up, though, and yeah. she looks yeah. great. Mm. Dr. Isley? Mm. Pamela? Mm-hmm. You look great. I do. I. It is confusing how all of a sudden all these chemicals just all of a sudden transform her and magically she doesn't need glasses. So hold on, so she wears yeah. again later. If we poured a bunch of cleaning chemicals on I'll you, look better. would you be more sexy than you already are? If we poured cleaning chemicals on Tony... Only one way to find out. <laughs> Get the so we just pour bleach so on Tony's head. I remember this scene... Tricots. Uh, yeah, I remember this scene uh, really, really well, where she she's like, oh, my lips are full of poison. She kills Dr. Woodrow. Yeah. Because at the Warner Brothers store mm-hmm. on, in Atlantic City. Yeah. Uh, I remember I went there like the year. That's probably where I saw, first saw the trailer. I was like in the Warner Brothers store and they were just playing that trailer on a goddamn loop. And I remember just like looking at all the Batman stuff and having to hear the same line over and over again. <laughs> my lips with poise. <laughs> Did she say which lips, though? Would be I a whole know. different movie. Woo. I don't know if it's one or both. What would that be called? Uh, we're not going to. Let's keep moving. Guys, we can talk <laughs> about the movie Teeth another time. Uh, there you go. There you go. So, yeah, she decides she is Mother Nature, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> She's crazy. Just it's classic. It's not nice to mess with I don't with like Mother this Nature. origin. I, I don't like this origin. No, it's she has way better origins than yeah, that. It's stupid. Way better. But I don't mind it because it's, it's bringing her out. I think even in the cartoon, out. she wasn't really like a plant toxic lady yes, yet. She, well, she was... She, she did, like, in the early, the first few what, seasons. What, in the animated series? Yeah. yeah. The first she, few seasons, she did experiments with plants and made plant monsters. But she wasn't, yeah. like... She didn't turn green until the new Batman Adventures. The new Adventures. Batman Adventures, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. she was in the episode... Uh, one thing I really no. liked about the animated series is they gave Harvey Dent stuff to do before he became two Yeah. Phase, and yeah. Harvey Dent was with... Poison Ivy, and I thought that was a. Re- I was like, oh, yeah. cool. We know where he's going, but we give him a time to be yeah. Richard Mall before he becomes Two Face. But and- she still has that sex appeal. She oh, still no, big has time. that. She, her, her animated series is probably my favorite Poison Ivy of all times. I'm, I'm almost, really all liking. The characters I'm really liking favorite. the one in the Harley Quinn cartoon That's, I played yeah. by Lake Bell. She's pretty <gasps> good. Where she's dating Kite Man, but she's like too embarrassed to tell people she's dating Kite so Man. So my <gasps> thought was uh, because. Birds of Prey failed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted a Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn movie that's the Defiant Ones. It, or it should have been Gotham is City that, Sirens. Why yeah. have they shoehorned Harley Quinn into a Birds of Prey? Have, you ever, have you ever seen the Defiant Ones? Is that the no. one? Where it's a white actress and and uh, uh, Pam Greer and they're chained together and they're on a prison Oh, break. I've heard of this one. Yeah, yeah. it was... Well, it was uh, Black mama, white mama, but it was yeah. defiant ones before that. I thought it'd be cool if there's just a you make a Poison Ivy Harley Quinn movie that's just a road trip movie, but it's there's a totally random, doesn't have anything to do with anything, rogue attack of the League of Shadows and Arkham Asylum, <laughs> I would which love frees them. That. And it has Holy nothing to do shit. with the overall plot, but it's the two of them hating each other, and then they're across the country chained together. I but you know what would be better? That. You know, be, no, it's better than that. Yeah. Harley Quinn going, or no, Poison Ivy going, I am a bad guy. And then Bane in the completely other room going, Bane! <laughs> and then Poison Ivy going, all right, Bane's in the other room. Would, he works for me now, I who guess. Who play yeah. Poison Ivy, though? I will. People no, wanted Megan can't. Fox to be Wait, Poison can Ivy. No, no, you can't, like, no, you can't do that. I don't think she has a, that. Who's a hot redhead in Hollywood? Well, there's really not two. Well, too Hollywood many. is slowly erasing redheads That's as we're learning. That was uh, <laughs> sorry, Crystal. X Men: no. Days of Future. No, X Men: First Class. Professor X is like, well, redheads are mutants. You know, I remember <laughs> when I was in the theater, I texted you Crystal did. that. Yeah, yeah, you're a mutant. I was like, oh, okay. So, but which one, real quick, what is the, um, is it new? It's not New 52 where uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are lesbians together. It's in the modern continuity. I yeah. actually love that storyline too, because also like Harley Quinn's so fed up with the Joker in that relationship. They're a much more like 
plat they're a much more healthy relationship the two of them together. as being lesbians yeah. then and I'm just like no that makes perfect sense cuz the Joker's a piece of shit yeah i you, and their their personalities which is why are when, so good together when suicide like i see a lot of people on facebook mm. who like post a picture of Joker and Harley Quinn they're like i want this kind of mad no. crazy relationship yeah. like, no you don't, you don't realize that he's an fuck. abusive piece yeah. of shit yeah uh, but if you can find me an, a nice Harley Quinn girl for me, I would love that. I will make so, that happen. So, guys, the police at Gotham are probably like, hey, where could Mr. Freeze be hiding? Hey, look at that abandoned, shut down snow cone factory. With a mist, with a uh, <laughs> fucking, yeah. mist, you know, there's, ice cream head. Yeah, the lights are on. And there's people singing, I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's keep moving. I'm sure it's nothing. Mr. Yeah. White Christmas. Is that the lyrics? I'm, like, I'm Mr. White, White yeah. Christmas. So again, they wanted to do the tragic, I love my wife, sad Mr. Freeze. But you can also be, 60s. I need I need my uh, ice skater guys to be singing Snow Miser where they're trying to eat frozen meals. Like, it's so stupid. I and to, there's still so much ice cream in there. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just like, why is there still ice well, cream? Well, to be fair, um, so my dad's friend used to own a junkyard and they used to own a monster truck and a Mr. Softy truck. I don't, do all states have Mr. Softy? I don't know. They have something Philly like thing? it. Okay. Something like it. An there was a Mr. Truck. Softy truck there. And when they, it's not connected to anything, it's just like a chemical that's colored. Yeah. And when I was a little kid, I dared my brother to stick his head under it <gasps> and he stuck his head under the chocolate one and it was just the liquid it looked like dog shit oh, no. and it went in his mouth and he puked all over the place <laughs> <laughs> so oh. I don't know why anyone would work for Mr. Freeze it doesn't look like they're being paid it's bullshit yeah they look well, kind of miserable they don't help him when he's in jail they're like fuck yeah, they yeah, don't. Mr. Freeze gets arrested later and it's like where are his <laughs> bad guys <laughs> um <laughs> Go then right we, uh, that man's dying. It okay. went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. <laughs> okay. So, Newt, you would say Bane is pretty, uh, pretty bad in this, right? Not, yeah. not a good at representation of the comics. No. Okay. What about Batgirl? She shows up. <gasps> Barbara. Pennyworth? I don't know. No, Barbara something. Yeah. Barbara not Oh, Gordon. Barbara Wilson. It's Barbara, Barbara Wilson. Wilson. And her mother is a fucking 1940s silent yeah. film actress. Who is Alfred's sister, but... Peg? But it Peg. looks like Margaret, it, the picture's yeah, really old. It's like, that would be her grandmother. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so Barbara Wilson shows up, and it's uh, Alicia Silverstone. Yes. And the only thing I... Like, Alicia Silverstone was in the Aerosmith videos. Mm -hmm. She was in... Clueless. She was in uh, that movie. She was movie really popular with, at that time. Yeah. She was yeah. in that movie with Jeff Goldblum where he dies and comes back, and she was in Fear. No, that was Reese Witherspoon. Was it Reese Witherspoon? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Fucking all these 90s people. Yeah. So she's in this movie, and she's no Barbara Gordon, and she's, she's Alfred's uh, clearly American, only talks out of one side of her mouth, yeah. niece. And um, it didn't fit. Yeah. And Robin's really, real into her because he's never but she been just a girl. She shows up when? Okay, so Alfred has been there for how long? So Bruce has known Alfred his, whole his life. entire life yeah. and yet has never There's met. There's some continuities would say that Alfred is actually Bruce Wayne's dad. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it suggests that he might actually be his dad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you never, they don't know who she is. Like, this is, why do you? No, just, they're all surprised. I'm like, Bruce, why why, why would Alfred even keep that a secret? He's That's like, weird. I don't really he, talk to that old man. Like, <laughs> he's doesn't even know he's dying. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, she's really unneeded in this other yeah. than. And here's the thing. They needed to sell toys. The toy people, I think Joel Schumacher said, were in the writer's room. We need a girl Batman doll to sell to little girls. Yes. And now, the blazing Bat-Hammer lights up the night, ready for the final fight. The Bat-Hammer powers up to send the frozen feed to a massive meltdown. The secrets of the Bat-Cave are yours, Batman and Robin. Figures of Bat-Hammer eat so separately, batteries not included. Uh, but Robin is into her, yeah. and he should be, because as we all know, Alicia Silverstone is into birding. Yes. And he's a Robin. She That's can bird him. The only thing I know about that is, and we explained it to Crystal during the I comments. Didn't know well, what by, by, before was. we start. Yeah. 
I, I just learned that birding apparently means bird watching these days. Yeah. That is not the birding we're talking no. about. <laughs> I not had, at all. I've never heard the word birding so before. So Alicia yeah. Silverstone is one of those parents back in the early 2000s. The mid to early 2000s. Who yeah. would chew her food up and the then awesome. bird it into her kids' mouths. That is Yeah. Nasty. And that's fucking gross. Yes. I mean, who are you to tell someone how to parent, Newt? I got to pee up her back. Are you kidding me? I'll be two seconds. We're going to keep going. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So anyway, about birding. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Stop. So uh, we, we think this might be an error. Poison Ivy and Bane are in their car. Yeah. Bane is wearing the Ben Grimm disguise or the Ninja Turtles disguise where it's a- This was yeah. so weird. So he's just driving this old fashioned car. At yeah. first, like you don't even realize it. it, it it's pretty funny seeing Bane in a hat and just yeah. kind of driving. And then Pamela's in the bat, or Poison Ivy, or whatever you want to call her, opens up a wig box. Yeah. And she tries on this wig, and there's a mirror in front of her, and she's fixing yeah. it and everything. So we think, like, oh, she's going to be gonna in, go disguise. in disguise. When no one also knows who she is. Is yeah. or knows what she so looks like. She wouldn't like, really need to in, be in disguise. What is she? She's in like South Africa or something? South America, yeah. South America. And then so, she randomly comes to Gotham. Yeah, yeah. Then she goes to the the Gotham Observatory where Bruce Wayne's being interviewed. And no. she's not wearing a disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just herself now. And yeah. she says, I'm Pamela Isley. I worked uh, for your thing. He's like, oh, yeah, I heard it burnt down. I'm glad you got out of there. And it's like, wait, what happened with... The wig. Where'd the wig? Yeah, where'd it go? And then we find out later on, she goes to a different thing and is wearing the wig. Yeah. And they're like, they took that is scene this? from later and they put it earlier for some reason. It makes no sense. The sequence is so out of order in that part because you're thinking she's just back to wearing her glasses, though. She doesn't even look. Yeah. She came out as poison ivy. Sexy as hell. Yeah. She goes into the car. She still looks good. She's in the car and yeah. tries on the wig. And then she's a ragged mess when she goes in and talks to Bruce with her glasses. She looks how she does in the very beginning. Yeah. And Bruce Wayne doesn't know what she looks like. She didn't even need to no, change No, she wasn't even trying to hide it. She said who she was. Yeah. So she's all like, yeah, you know, we got to save the environment and whatnot. And he's like, okay. Well, that's... Oh, oh, my God, he's back. Oh, my God. <laughs> you okay? <I'm> <laughs> and she's all like, we got to stop this. We got to stop that. He's like, yeah, but... Do, uh, Do I still look like Batman? No. Yeah, you still look like Batman. <laughs> all right, good. We're good. We're going to keep going. And Bruce Wayne makes a point. She's like, we got to stop all this. He's like, yeah, but if we stop all this uh, stuff, we won't have anything to keep our food preserved, and then people will die. And she's like, ah, you know... Want to make an omelet? Got to break a few eggs. Which is what the Joker says in the '89 Batman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, the whole thing is like she's going after uh, American billionaire. Did we yeah. talk but, about how she put a wig on? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. we did. All right. Uh, and how we need to save the environment. He yeah. should really be like, hey, Pamela, you hit China up first, and then come back to Do me. Do you think uh, Al Gore? Go was, take care of China, then come back Al to Gore me. Al Gore saw this and went, hmm. This that really is changed a this very life. Convenient <laughs> truth. <laughs> There's gonna be a gala where Bruce Wayne is donating a diamond. But it's not Bruce. It is well, Bruce Wayne, but, but Batman Bruce Wayne will doesn't be there. show up. Mm -hmm. Batman will be it's there. It's Batman and Robin that's there. And Mr. Freeze finds out because he's looking at his wedding tape and he gets interrupted by Frosty and freezes him <laughs> and then sees the newspaper. He's like, I'm going to break in there. You know, there should be a show that goes, if we keep killing guys, we're going to run out of henchmen. Yes. <laughs> there should be a show called. Yes, it was yeah. called Mummy Cop the Series. That's what and it I was. And I heard uh, freaking uh, that stupid Thunder Force movie had a joke like it. Oh. And I was like, beat him to it. You were there first. I beat him to it. Wait, Do you know how many times I've been there first and nobody saw it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a great feeling yeah um so then we we go to the gala mm -hmm. newt what did you think about the choreography here i was very impressed <laughs> by the sheer amount of muscular oiled up <laughs> men playing drums Again. i would like every time i come to the studio to film one of these episodes for a muscular long-haired man oiled up banging they also into had the Hot chicks, too. Hot chicks, too. Yeah, yeah, swinging on some vines. But you can't do that anymore. Yeah, you can't really have a <laughs> jungle theme party like that anymore. There'd be like, what is this? Cause I mean, we have them all the time. We just yeah. don't advertise. No, them. exactly. You know, whatever you do behind closed doors is yeah, fine. You yeah, know? it's totally fine. Uh, so I wouldn't Batman have you seal me back into this, but it doesn't matter at no. this point. No, nothing matters. So, uh, <laughs> Batman and Robin show up and yeah. they're like, hi, guys. Yeah, for... Bruce Wayne's fundraiser. And do you think like the people in the audience are like, you know, 
we get that, you know, <laughs> we know we don't say anything about Bruce Wayne because Batman helps and we know it's Bruce Wayne, but he's testing us now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, yeah. I think I mentioned before, it's like that old Saturday Night Live skit where The Rock is Superman. Yeah. And like the thing is, like he comes in, you can see the Superman suit coming out of this Clark Kent outfit, and everyone's and everyone knows they're like, oh my That's god, the skit where they go that they're trying to like get him to prove that he's Superman. He's yeah. like, I don't know, I heard that if you get Superman into a men's room, it won't take kryptonite to bring him to his knees. And then the Rock is like, <laughs> I love when they read his article, and it's like, and that's when. I, I mean Superman. Oh God, Clark. And they're like, why did he type that? <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, yeah. So Poison Ivy shows up in her pink gorilla in her suit. Pink gorilla and also suit. Bane is in the pink gorilla suit. And he yes. stays in it because he's committed he's, to the He's bit. committed this to this. Pink gorilla, it looks like um, insulation. It's yeah. like yeah. all over them. I, I was do. like, Ooh. I really like this Poison Ivy suit because it reminds me of the original, because I have the first issue that yeah. she appears in. It reminds me of that suit. You yeah. said you didn't like this one no, in the commentary. No, I don't know the next beehives. one with oh, the okay, beehive gotcha. hair. Yeah. I got confused when okay. you said that. Because I said, this is the one that looks the best out of all of her outfits in the entire movie. Yeah. This is the best looking My one. My favorite Poison Ivy look is the Jim Lee Hush version. I like that where one. Where she's like naked yeah. and she's green and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. I sent you that statue. You have. I was in a comic book store recently and... Um, I sent you the picture of that statue and it's huge and it's like 400 it's bucks. It's really like, oh, get cool. me that. And I was like, what do you do that's worth $400? I like, a, yeah. I like the Tim Sale one where it's like just nothing one. but leaves. Yeah. This one's fun because this is the yeah. bombshell one. That kind of reminds me though, uh, it looks like the woman who played um, Silk Spectre. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I like the autumn. the autumn. Yeah, the autumn's fun. The autumn poison ivy. Yeah. And but anyway. Pop. Yeah, moving on. Anyway, so she shows up and she's got you. her magic dust. She blows purple her dust. love potion that makes everyone a, fall in love with not her. Not an effect. After effects. It yes. looks bad. So they all yeah. audition. Uh, the, uh, they all start auctioning to like date her. Yeah. To raise money. because The it dude was, like, from Spider-Man is there. Yes. And yeah. the senator is there who's in a lot of those Batman mm -hmm. movies. So, uh, Have there, you guys ever been auctioned off before? No, because I'm terrified they'll be like, look, you have to pay us to do this. I was, I got into a bar underage and they're trying to do, um, raise money for their taps. And my friend and I jumped on the bar and the guys were like, yeah, we get them together. And we started making out with each other to get them to Well, you could have put someone's business at stake <laughs> yeah. by breaking the law. They had fun. That's Everyone had fun. So then business. someone paid a lot of money for him and his friend to go out on a date to us. And then they couldn't take us to a, we had to sneak in because they eventually found out that we were underage. Oh, and they kept trying? They kept trying. Well, oh, not wow. underage. I'm sorry. Well, we weren't under eight. We were under 21 oh, in a okay. bar. Okay. But we had to sneak into Still the bar. Still not great, Christmas but a little bit <laughs> better than the previous yeah. story because I was like, oh, God. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I hope well, that guy's not enemy. a Batman and Robin fan <laughs> of finding out. Like, like, under 21. Under 21. Low, like, under 21, on? <laughs> not under age, under 21. No. And we had to sneak into the bar, but it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, all I can think of right it. now is when on Seinfeld they were auctioning dates and Jerry couldn't make it, so Kramer went. And Elaine's like, he's a high school graduate, and then he whispers in her ear and she goes, high school equivalency <laughs> graduate. Yes. That was uh, Slapshot. You ever see Slapshot before? No. They're like, American college graduate when they're doing the whole thing. It's over and over again. Same thing. Uh, no, because I'm very ugly and I have very low self esteem and I'm always wearing. Yeah. Yes. And I'm just like, well. You okay. <coughs> I think Newt. We got to help. Newt. We'll auction for a date for him. How about that? Okay. Newt. Someone help Who him. Who has enough money to bid on Poison Ivy? Uh, Bruce Wayne. Batman. 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 And, not Bruce Wayne. And Crystal, you know, he better be careful. He has to make sure his card up, is up to date. When does it expire? Oh, I didn't check the ex expiration date. I just, I was shocked as just seeing a freaking Batman the, card. You didn't see the expiration date of the last movie. Oh, it's forever. Yeah. I didn't so notice back, that. So I he has a back that. credit card. Real quick, I just said back credit card. Let's pause and wait for the 10,000 comments that said, Doug Walker made that joke. Doug Walker, there they are. Yes, back credit card. Yes, Nostalgia Critic didn't make the joke. We're aware. Brad. We're aware. Brad. Can you tell them we know? Brad, can you I tell them? Actually Brad, I actually don't because I didn't see it. We're, yeah. Anyway. I know, but Brad can take care of this. Brad, you just did an Army of the Dead review with, with Doug. I, I hung out with Doug at RetroCon. I have a picture. I'll send it right here. Yes. Um, 
We, just tell them. We know. We know. We're yeah. not the first people to talk about this. Yes, But yes. we're the first people to have Crystal dress as Poison Ivy. And you guys is Batman. So <laughs> yeah. Batman. Somewhat. Anyway, Batman. my two bat dads. <laughs> so, so Batman has a credit card that's good through forever. Who gave him this card? Where's this bank at? I don't know. That was, was there a credit so card, weird. Was there a credit that. card company that had like a deal with this movie? Like you would think like Mike. Uh, Microsoft, Jesus Christ! Wow, uh, uh, Mastercard, Mastercard. There you go. Yeah, wow. Right. Um, I have been drinking <laughs> you and are? I peed my body weight. Um, <laughs> yeah, so forget it. Move on. Anyway, so but yes, uh, that was very strange and very like, yeah. ooh, I don't like that. That was actually never something leave where the cave like, without no. it. Yeah, I was like, no, please, <laughs> no, please. And then Mr. Freeze shows up. Well, hold on. In the '60s. Batman and Robin would show up to events yeah, as they were deputized, deputized citizens. Deputized citizens. Yeah. They'd put money in the meter. Yes. But if you have that kind of card, like you still have to pay it off. Yeah. Right? He has a separate bat account. I guess so. Like, that's a how bat credit card, like how I like I'm now curious that about mean, his credit. That mean that has to mean that Bruce credit? Wayne is laundering money, which is against the law. Through the Cayman so. Islands. That yeah. would make so yeah. much more sense. So eventually he's gonna have to turn himself in yeah. when he's done fighting crime. Uh <laughs> so Mr. Freeze uh interrupts. Everybody chill. Freeze chill. interrupt us. Yes. And uh they're fighting and whatnot, and Poison Ivy's like, oh man, that guy's pretty cool, and I should <laughs> team up with him. Cool. Yes. Because everyone needs to team up now. But it makes Dumb. no sense because what we want. Well, the, the other end, ones Dumb. didn't make sense either, they Newt. Didn't. <laughs> they did. Nothing makes sense. What what real what reason did Catwoman really need to team up with the penguin? Because he was running for mayor. No, it's because she wanted revenge on Batman for throwing her off a roof, but yeah. she survived and was fine. Just the pussy I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is my favorite Batman movie. No, yeah. anyway. that's my favorite. It definitely yeah. is. So uh, yeah, Batman and Robin it's chase great. Mr. Freeze. And uh, meanwhile, Bane is still in the ape suit. <laughs> He's committed uh, to the bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we get one of the worst Batmobile scenes I've ever seen. <gasps> I loved that scene so, so good. Go it was so bad. Sign up for the Patreon if you haven't. Yes. <gasps> Listen to the Batman commentary. We laughed hysterically at this yes. scene because we're watching it in 4K yeah. on a big fucking TV in the conference room at the office. Yeah. Um, it's embarrassing. It's all it's discolored. So They're on a giant statue in the middle of the city. There's no way the cars could be sticking to it. And then Robin is like, because they're under her spell. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to get him. And Batman's like, you can't make the jump. He's like, yes, I can. He's like, I'll show you. And he turns off his motorcycle. He does the minority report. Remember how they're, like, they're trying to stop Tom Cruise's car so they yeah. turn off the engine? Yeah. So Which almost kills Robin. And then he does that yeah. scream. Ah! Yeah. What if he that did was die? That so yeah. weird. Like, so what if he died? I don't know. How were the heavier vehicles able to make the jump, but the yeah. lighter ones were? I was That's... very confused on that. I was like, the motorcycle would actually make that jump, if anything. Well, He's no like, one would make the jump. There's but if we're playing so many by... orphans in Gotham City. I'll just get another one. <laughs> so this is like a weird, weird moment. Batman punches through Mr. Freeze's tank. Yeah. And then the next shot, Mr. Freeze is on the ground. Batman has his cape over him. And then he lifts up the cape like this, all dramatic for no one. <sighs> It's like, why did he do that? Like, that was a little do weird. Do you think there's like people in like buildings around that, and they were just like, "Honey, do you think that was for us?" Why, why is Batman? <laughs> okay, he just pulled him out. Now he's putting this cape over him. You're now like, he's going like this. So why is that all about? Why does Bruce Wayne dress like that? We know he's Batman. <laughs> Where's the plant lady? <laughs> oh, yeah. and the Batmobile Freeze gets saying that you, uh, you must be the plant yeah. lady. Back at uh, the bat, the bat cave, uh, the Batmobile is just fixed. It was frozen and like pieces of it broke off, and it's just fixed now. Yeah, yeah, it's just fixed now. Yeah, he'll get drive through. Yeah, uh, and at one point, uh, Bruce Wayne's talking to Alfred again with a towel because like. Because they were cold. Being Batman, no, like being Batman, like you're in the costume. Because I'm in the costume now, and like he needs to dry off. Like he just played a basketball game. Yeah, yeah. it's like he just got done at the gym. Yeah, yeah. It was odd. Like at that point, just go take a and shower. You know what? Yeah, just go take a but shower. But like, imagine how sweaty and gross your balls are after being in that outfit and fighting crime. Like that is well. Thankfully, nasty. they all have massive cod pieces. Yes. You know what else is odd? So gross. Uh, earlier in the film. Bruce Wayne looked down the hallway and got a flashback of Alfred helping him. <laughs> he fell down and Alfred's like, and he's like in short pants and Alfred lifts him up and he's like, yeah. I fucking hope your parents get gunned down. In the alley. <laughs> so what else is odd is Bruce Wayne looks out the window 
and he just sees the tombstone of his parents with Alfred over. He's like, wait, pa- Bruce Wayne's parents are buried outside the window? Like, that's that would a keep him being Batman. He's like, yo, they're right there. It's a never. I would put it by the mailbox every day. He's got to <laughs> yeah. go down and get the mail, and it's like, just oh, the my like there's been off. other. Ver- so there's been multiple different versions. Like, so, like the cartoon, they were in like a public cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of times, like rich people have like their own like cemetery. You know what's weird? If you go down uh, Street Road, mm-hmm. there's just like a little cemetery. Yeah, and yep. like it probably belonged to something like a hun- 200, 300 but years ago. But it's not anymore. But now it's just on the outside of a shopping center and near we have a residential to drive area. Past it every day as we're trying to do our stupid fucking hack the movies bullshit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm always like, wow, I bet there's no one even alive to even visit yeah. that cemetery. And they're like, those people had lives and struggles, yeah. Yeah. and now we're just like. It's just an inconvenience yeah. as we go do yeah. dumb fucking bullshit. I right, love anyway. an old cemetery, though, because you look at those headstones and you can't even read it. I think yeah. those are the coolest cemeteries. But yeah, the um, like cemetery. Sorry. So like uh, really cool. <clears throat> in the Nolan movies, yeah. there was like a family cemetery outside the thing. And even in the Batman the Superman ones, ones. Yeah. But there wasn't a tombstone just outside the, the window, window of the house. Yeah. Like that's a little. And it's it only like, one tombstone. So I'm guessing they got buried on top of each other right outside that house. Yeah. So when I was a kid, but, the house that my parents had before they got divorced there was one of those like power boxes remember like there was a place where kids used to sit on it yeah. was like a bigger green power box it was right outside of my bedroom window and i used to be open up my bedroom window and jump out onto it and i thought i was spider-man <laughs> when i was like five and i was like imagine if that's bruce wayne's parents grave <laughs> jesus so uh, they take Mr. Freeze to Arkham. Yeah. Yep. Somehow he already stood a trial and was found uh, mentally unwell. Yeah. yeah they, they and Jesse, crazy. Jesse the, the, was he the body or it the It was mind? Jesse the mind at that point, okay. right before he became governor, a few years before he became governor. And there's just, they put him in the thing and there's just one circle yep. that has air conditioning coming yeah. down. And then when he leaves that circle, it hurts him. Which, is, he, which he makes thr- no sense. <laughs> And then, well, he needs extreme cold. Arkham is sure. Arkham is like covered in cobwebs. Have you ever seen that document, American Horror Story? Oh yeah, wait, this is funny. Newt's like, is this uh, government funded? I'm like, well, a lot of asylums were, and you're like, why is it? Are they cool with the cobwebs? I'm like, have you not have researched you? government funded? Well, uh, why, because you know why most of them shut down. Our friend Amanda works at Penhurst yeah. for all the shit, yeah. and they do. And I was like, terrible things happen there. But have you ever seen that documentary that Geraldo did, where they went into like the one in Buffalo? Have you ever seen a uh, uh, fucking um, that documentary, uh, Cropsy? No. No. Okay, getting off on a side here. There's a documentary called Cropsy that my friend Eric, that you and I yeah, know, yeah. Uh, he put out. So in Buffalo, New York, or whatever, uh, the fucking all the the mental institutions were shut down. Yeah. Same and thing here. They yeah. just released all the mentally ill people yeah. into the community. And like Yeah, it's kind of weird they didn't have a plan for any of that. Yeah. They just shut them down. So they they there was an urban legend about Cropsy and the movie The Burning was based on there was a guy who was like deformed, but he was like kidnapping And the, also Madman, the movie Madman. Yes. But he was kidnapping like children and doing stuff to them. And it became a thing, and people investigated this urban legend. It turned out that like a group of they were homeless, but they were released from the asylum with like living underground and like. There's a lot of stories of that because yeah. a lot That's of people were just. We live nearby what used to be Byberry Asylum, yeah. but now it's a 55 and older home. There's only one building, I think, left yeah. from it. But that it's is, just it's like. so sad. And yes, it, like when you're asking it, if there's cobwebs, of yeah. course. But they did. Remember when they did it on American Horror Story, the asylum? They had the whole thing about when she goes in to investigate yeah. how mistreated her. Yeah, that was based mistreated. on a true event. Yeah. Yeah. Geraldo Rivera, a that's how he got are. famous. Yeah before Fox News was going in and seeing like people yeah. lived in like abject squalor. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, someone should do a documentary about Arkham <laughs> Asylum. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I say Arkham is government funded. Yeah. You know what's not funded by the government usually? Turkish baths. Yes. So we go to a Turkish, a broken down that Turkish so bath. That so much we beyond. find out the glow in the dark gang from the previous movie. Because Joel Schumacher was like, I really want a Turkish bath in this movie, mm-hmm. and I really want more glow in the dark men. <laughs> and they're like, okay, Joel, I notice your script doesn't have any Batman in it. Oh, I'll add him in later. Uh, anyway, so they, so Poison Ivy shows up with Bane. Yeah, yes. Bane just shatters the wall, and these guys are like, ha, 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 we're going to... Yeah, and like, why my, would you think my that? My pretty, pretty. My pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh. 
and uh, they get taken care of pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. And then Bane starts kicking holes in the floor. So that horrible CGI plants Holy could come out of the shit. ground. Again, that was really we watched bad. The, this, the, when they made this in 1997, they probably didn't envision 4K yeah. massive conference room screen wave yeah. TVs. Yeah. They look awful. Very. But you know what? The horrible CGI stunt doubles that Crystal pretended were good They're prepared amazing. me, prepared me for the plants. Are you going to defend the plants? They're pretty. Listen to our commentary track. <laughs> Oh, where are we at here? Um, oh yeah, so Bruce is with his girlfriend, the Julie Madison. Julie Madison, right? Yeah, who is, who a, is a character from the comics, an on again, off again girlfriend. Yeah. And in the you comics. see her earlier on too, when they're um, when you first see yeah. Pamela meet Bruce. So yeah. they're standing was, there. Was Vicky Vale from the comics before yes. the movie? Yep. She was. Okay. Vicky Vale was starred in the forties. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah. Because there's Vicky Vale, Julie Madison, Silver St. Cloud. Yeah. Well, Vicky Vale in the first Batman movie yeah. is more like Silver St. Cloud. Yeah, no, they use the Vicky Vale name. And she wa- in the original Sam Ham draft, she no. was Silver St. Cloud. Silver St. Cloud, Cloud. that would have yeah. made more sense at that yeah. point. Uh, so Bruce switches girlfriends a lot, and I was trying to question how far apart is... Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Well, I was because telling you, what about Chase? they're operating on James Bond rules where you just get a new actor <laughs> and they get but a they new But they started girlfriend. talking about marriage. Like they talked about marriage multiple times. Well, we haven't times. mentioned, George Clooney left the ER for this. Yeah. George Clooney is But he would show up fuck. to the set of ER dressed as Batman. That's <gasps> really? Funny. Yeah. I had no idea. That's a hilarious. lot of like Kevin Smith um, podcast, he talks mm. about yeah. he was working on Superman Returns at that because with yeah. the point, the Nick Cage Superman and the George Clooney Batman were supposed to cross oh, over. Yes, but this movie great. destroyed oh. that. So Kevin and then Smith, Steel decided to be in its own little yeah, universe with, yeah. with Shaft. Yeah. So Kevin Smith was on Shaft, not Shaft. <laughs> yeah. No Shaft, because Richard Roundtree Shaft is, is in it. You're right. I thought, I thought you yeah. confused Shaquille O'Neal yeah, with the I fictional character. No, no, no. Shaft. Richard like, Roundtree is in it. I right, fucking keep know. Keep going. Keep going. I know Shaft. Uh, trust me, I know sha- good shafts when I see it. Um, so Kevin Smith was on set for this a lot. He came on, but apparently George Clooney would leave and go be on set of ER at the time as well. And then they had it so that he could play basketball and he they needed the suit to be more flexible and he was playing basketball and he fucked up his leg. So they had to have, so a lot of the movie, he's his leg is fucked up so he couldn't do stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, wait a minute. So... He's hanging out with fucking Anthony Anderson and Julia Margulies, and she's like, <laughs> I'm going to be in Ghost Ship one day. And he's like, oh, I got molested by the guy who made Masters of the Universe. Oh and here's God. Batman. And like, it's all a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so look up what happened to the dude who made Masters of the Universe. Anyway. Fuck that dude. I'm anyway. Good. Captain Power. Okay. You made Captain Power. Oh, anyway. yeah. yeah. So Bruce is with Julie Madison. Yeah. Probably going to trim a lot of that out. No, no, no. Leave it. Uh, Bruce is with Julie Madison and he starts hallucinating Poison Ivy. Yeah. Uh, because he's still kind of under the spell. Imagine Not as bad as being Robin. in the world so where it's weird. like you have to choose between El McPherson and yeah. Uma Thurman. Ugh. It's an easy choice for me, am I right? I, I live alone with a cat and I masturbate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't want to be with Uma Thurman because then like... She's because she's Why? friends with Quentin Tarantino, and then you have to know that her friend is like really into her feet. And this, I feel okay. bad for you. Well, apparently, all. in one out of every three guys has a foot fetish. Really? Yeah, I've you didn't never. Know that yeah, but it, but think That's, about it. Ethan Hawke is like, wow, well, she's really good friends with Tarantino, and he's really into her feet. Here's the thing: should Crystal, they be making a movie together? You and I have known each other for a really long time. Too long, yes. Okay. Outside of when you and I dated, I've dated some very attractive women, haven't I? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Where was this going? Yeah. No, no, yeah, I'm I just saying. I don't know either. No, no, like, but like, th- th- way more attractive than I deserve. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, no, they're definitely, there's a couple of them I think are extremely pretty. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Never once have I looked at anyone's feet and go, that. <laughs> because you're not that one out of well, yeah. alright so maybe you don't have a foot fetish maybe you don't but the next guy that walks in here probably will Sean is like hey I'm from movie dumpster I really like because- feet and then Joe is like I don't like feet and then Johanna's like what the fuck are you guys all talking about and then Justin's like why am I on this show and then Kieran's like bye <laughs> well though um um Woman's pheromones apparently come out of her feet the most. That's the area where the most pheromones come out. Can we please out. stop talking about really? feet? Yeah, we got you more didn't know to, these guys, guys, no more feet. Anyway, 
That new Space Jam movie's pretty stupid. Kind of dumb to put uh, a rapist gang in a kid's movie. So we cut to the bike gang in this movie, and uh, so it's the weird. rapist gang from yeah. Clockwork Orange. But yeah. it's led by Coolio, who yeah. apparently... We saw the Droogs, and we're like, how did Warner Brothers do this twice? Yeah. How did they put a rapist gang in two kids' films? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Coolio, uh, when he's not living in a gangster's paradise, yeah. is apparently Jonathan <laughs> Crane. Yeah, you said that. I couldn't find it's that. It's in but. the thing. It says he's supposed to be Jonathan Crane because they were going to do Batman Unchained right, next. Right, right. And he was going to play. Really? He and he's just, there with Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. Not in not Vogue. Invoke. In Vogue, who were yeah. in the last one. Crystal screwed I that I said up. that, and Crystal was like, she didn't know the difference between 90s R&B groups. <laughs> So we find out Barbara Gordon has been breaking. Not Barbara Gordon. Oh, I'm sorry. Barbara Wilson. Wilson. Barbara Wilson. Yeah. Barbara Burning. Okay, uh, you guys she's been insult me, making up rumors. <laughs> and so she uh, she's straight. been sneaking out. Even Why though is she sneaking out? She's, she's an a adult. grown woman. She's at college. She's I assume she's over 21. Independent hey, grown woman. Hey, Uncle Alfred. Well, the obviously. Closeted gay billionaire and his 37 year old <laughs> housemate are doing whatever they do that L. McPherson doesn't know about. I'm gonna go race in motorcycle races with uh, Gangsta's Paradise. You cool with that? Cool. You have McGregor's disease. Or just don't disease. say anything. Be like, know. I'm an adult. I'm, I'm out. going out. I'm going out. I've been like, spending most of my life in a gangster's paradise. And then fucking Michelle Pfeiffer shows up and sits backwards in a chair. Yeah. Anyway. Does anybody remember that movie? Gangsta I haven't Paradise? seen it in a long no, time. I, I love Amish it. Paradise. Amish Paradise. Anyway, yeah. anyway. So, uh, so Coolio yeah. was one of the biggest rappers ever. Yes. For a period of time. He became so unpopular is. that he had to release one of his singles on Pornhub. He was in Dracula 3000 also. He was in yes. Dracula 3000. Yes. So she's, uh, she's being stalked by Robin. Yeah. Because again, he heard she was real into birding. Yeah. Uh, birding, birding is the wording, I'm I guess. I'm 38 and I've never touched a woman. Yeah. So they uh, do this insane motorcycle obstacle course. After he, after which he, the cops and or Batman should have shut down a long time after ago. After he fights her stunt double, who's clearly a dude in a blonde party yeah. city wig. Yeah. <laughs> like the Alfred stunt double from Batman Forever was like, you don't want to do something about that? Joel Schumacher's <laughs> like, it's fine. <laughs> no and one's watching. There's green flames. There's balloons. There's glitter bombs. Yes. Which I thought Coolio showed up early. And, and just put the glitter <laughs> yeah. in the thing. And he's like, yo, <laughs> this is going to be the party. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Too much television watching got me chasing and, dreams, fool. <laughs> and Corey Haim is one of the people. Corey Haim is one yeah. of the Yeah. So it all, it goes on for way too long. It, it feels like a different movie. A different movie. I don't even think the Droogs even get on a motorcycle. No. They were just there. Uh, yeah. It ends with like a big wall of fire happens, and I guess Barbara technically wins. So did she? Like, did, I don't know did if that was Coolio the set up the dudes in the neon, the liquid oh, yeah. sky. So there's guys outfits. who get into uh, to wires Harnesses. so they can swing and drop bombs, but they could have just stayed where they were and threw them and got the same effect. Yeah. Oh, and then they go into the LA River. From Terminator 2. Yes, and then next thing you know, they're on a giant ledge. It's like, what is the layout of Gotham? Why does I he... said, the guy who designed Gotham post Tim Burton, he's just face down in a giant Scarface <laughs> pile of cocaine, and he's like, woo! <laughs> Let's have a giant statue you can drive on, maybe. <laughs> and the mayor is like, oh. <laughs> no. So this is where you hang out. It, the worst it blue screen so I've ever seen. Like, bad. we could do better than that. Yes. I think a 10 year old can do better. And I think than her that. old stupid story is like, when my parents died, I got real into riding motorcycles and it made me get rid of the pain. You can't relate. And Robin's <laughs> like, I fought a two faced guy. <laughs> like, oh, okay, that's weird. It's like the Return of the Living Dead. Like, we eat the brains to get rid of the pain no. kind of thing. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No. And then this part's confusing. Well, the, there's the part where uh, Mr. Freeze makes his little ice. Princess. He's good at whittling. He's yes, really he's very good yeah. at whittling. Uh, Poison Ivy shows up. Yeah. To break him out. She kills the two guards. But it's Bane. Her, it's his sister. He, she comes in full costume. Yeah. Cape and all. Okay. Your all sister's right. here to visit. So let me, let me, let me, let me let's, 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 let's break this down for a second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So whenever you work in a place and someone says someone is here to see you, 
there's like steps to go mm-hmm. to meeting that person. This is a maximum security <laughs> home for the mentally yeah. tragically ill. And they're just like, oh yeah, the lady with the, the ridiculously red hair and the green yeah. costume with the giant <laughs> fucking freak who's connected to tubes. Well, he wasn't there. He was outside. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> somebody. There's security cameras everywhere to get ridiculous angles. Nobody thinks about this. There was also, you see later, a camera in there as well. Yeah, there was a camera. You know, Crystal, I'm starting to think this movie isn't very good. No. Uh, So Bane breaks through the wall. No one has ever made fun of this movie before on the internet. So Bane breaks through the wall to the evidence room. And then we we notice we're like we're like okay the Riddler suits there because Riddler's in Arkham. We're like, wait a minute, he wasn't wearing that suit when he got arrested. D- did he request that that suit be there just in case he ever gets released? And Two Face, they had to pull off of his bloated, yeah, <laughs> waterlogged body. body. The dead body of Two, like Two Face, yes. died, and his suit's just hanging and out there. That should be in the evidence locker at Gotham yeah. Central Police Station. They should have yes. put more in there. They should have just like the fucking Cat- well, the penguin, the laughing thing. bag from the I Joker like, yeah. should have been there, even though it wouldn't make sense. No. And the, what, the penguins just should have been there. The <laughs> Emperor <laughs> penguins, yeah. Could be like, <laughs> Oh yeah! It could be like in the Batman Returns where the penguins have to like are pallbearers, but they're clear. Yeah. That shot. So I love Batman Returns, but there are so many errors in that movie. Yeah. Like not just ripping off the makeup and the Ooh. things gone. When the penguins are dragging the penguin down into yeah. the thing and they're not touching him, I'm like, yeah, it's come pretty on, stupid. man. Um, so yeah, he grabs. The other this- one is when the bat. Mobile is going through the thing and it's knocking all the cars off. You can see the lever yeah. that lifts one of the cars into the yeah. thing. Just, so yeah, yeah uh, Mr. Freeze. Did I mention you look great? Shut up! <laughs> can you please stop and shut the fuck up? Shh. So Bane delivers Mr. Freeze's outfit. Yeah, the laundry service that delivers in a in a fucking yeah. wheelbarrow. Yeah, and then uh, Mr. Freeze, because they try to break the wall and they can't, but Mr. Mm. Freeze is like, I got a plan, because the security's coming after them, but it's like, why doesn't Poison Ivy just blow the dust on them? Why does he just blow those guys? I don't get it. (laughs) So, Mr. Freeze... I think uh, I saw that movie on Pornhub, (laughs) actually. Mr. Freeze freezes the pipes, winterize your pipes. And I got a funny story about that in the commentary track. Yeah. uh, Which freezes the wall, which I guess breaks the steel in the wall which you, makes it hard easier to break do you remember reebok pumps yeah so yeah. reebok pumps yeah, used yeah. to have a little thing where you'd put mm. cartridge into it with like air and it had those little tanks and when i was a kid my mom bought me those shoes as a birthday present and i broke one of the little tanks and the thing fucking froze <laughs> it to my hand while i was trying to get it in the thing and i was like all right that's fucked up like so that's what it reminded me of the same. Yeah, well, I'm glad it reminded you of you freezing <laughs> yeah. your hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then they all jump into the water and the shot lingers on their CGI doubles for way too long. Like the, Bane, yeah, Bane jumping is like, oh, oh my God, Bane jumping. The amazing. Bane one is hilarious. Because they were like, we people died. aren't going to be watching this movie in Oh, and they could all just survive like a t- thousand foot drop off the top of an insane asylum that's over a river. Well, they're for all some wearing reason. Wonder Woman, mm. Justice League, that's Snyder true. Cut heels. That's true. Yep. <laughs> oh, we forgot. There's one line where he's like, I need my diamond. She's like, I'll help you grab your rocks. Again, in a movie for children. <sighs> and then, um, no, what did you think about the miniature Batmobile and police cars in this? It looked like if you go to like a place where they have it's like a train set, it looked like, it looked like a Godzilla film to be yeah, honest. It does. Like yes, it does. all the shots of it like, looks like it yes. might have actually been one of the toys they sold. Yeah. <laughs> Batman Forever, like that scene you were talking about in that where it looks like weird because it's daylight. Yeah, this looks like the 1990 John Wesley ship flash TV show. Yeah, like it's subpar to the Dick Tracy set, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And then we uh, <sighs> on the film thing. They're, Cause they're at Mr. Freeze's hideout. Yeah. They're looking at like the footage of the Arkham escape and they're like, <laughs> the, the footage was inside the cell. That makes no It doesn't matter. Sense. Again, Joel Schumacher's but, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And is no like, one watching that live as well? Does no one, no one does I don't know. anything? But then they're like, yes, they also came in on a plane and that's the picture you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So they realize Poison Ivy's evil. Yeah. They don't know it's Pamela Isley, I guess. Uh, I don't know. They know Poison Ivy's evil. And uh, Robin's like, I can't believe she's a bad guy. And Batman's like, I can't believe we were fighting over a bad guy. Bad, yes. Guy, no. 
This movie's super woke. And then uh, they're trying to compliment her physical assets, but it's a kid's film, so yeah. he says, uh, good stems, nice buds. That was my favorite line in the movie, actually. I was like, <laughs> yeah. okay, was. I'll give it that. And then Batman just knows who Mr. Freeze's wife is. Yeah. He yeah. just opens up a thing, pushes, like, oh, there's that the wife. That was so weird. He just knew exactly where it was, as if he's been there before. He read the script. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy, they're per trying to break in because he needs more <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> this movie's fucking terrible. This movie's bad. You guys were defending it last it's time. so great. So he needs so diamonds great. to power his suit because yeah. diamonds are cold, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, he, t he distracts everyone by putting the cold air on in the the. That was place. so weird. They're like, oh my God, my lungs are freezing. And it's like, go Just outside. Go outside. Yeah. Go outside. Or move away from where all the yeah, just cold air that looks like steam, hot air. Yeah. Just and move then in the other three room, steps to your left. Do you think that we could be cops in Gotham? I Probably think not. we could be the highest. I think like we could we, be like Commissioner we could be Gordon. like Bullock yeah. in Gotham. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe. Finch in Batman Begins. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, Fisk. Fisk. Fisk? It was Fisk. It's not Finch? No, it's Fisk. Finch is an artist who worked on Batman, isn't it? I don't know. It was Fisk. I'm Batman. I anyway. That is an artist that works on Batman. I don't know. So Batman yeah, fights. My head. Batman fights You're Bane. My yeah. Head. And I was real into the fight in the cartoon and stuff. So seeing in live action, I was excited for. It sucked. Do you remember in the Over the Edge episode where Batman and Bane fight? And that might have came out after this, actually. It came out after it, but remember, like, the thing he's like, Batman, he's like, says something to Batman, he's like, it doesn't matter anymore, and he's just ready to die. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. This movie. Instead, he just goes, bro. And the whole time, Poison Ivy is blowing her dust, yeah. and she's like, getting into Robin's head, and she's trying to get into Batman's Cause Batman head. Because yeah. Robin's like, because she wanted to kiss me. Yeah. But I don't understand how it affects Batman, but it doesn't affect Batman, and it affects him. Yeah. Starting to think your favorite movie isn't very good. Yeah. And then P Poison Ivy does, again, she does the whole, like, I love rubber suits. I'm like, again, I <gasps> yes. don't. I'm supposed to be I don't real. think. All these women just love that rubber suit. But I don't suit. think in universe it's supposed to be real rubber. It's yeah. supposed to be some kind of cool I armor. it's the nipples that are like, you know. <sighs> what if their nipples had, like, guns in them, like in Machete Kill? <gasps> Yeah. Gordon finally does something. Yeah. It took four movies, but he finally <laughs> does something. He turns the cold air thing to heat. Yeah. And saves the cops. Well, to be fair, in the first Batman movie, while he's playing craps, he tells the cops that Batman doesn't exist. It's pretty much that doesn't help. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I, I quote that all the time. That his oh no, it's. It's fucking Harvey Dent's line. He's like, we have more things to worry about than ghosts, ghosts and, and goblins. goblins. <laughs> yeah, so they're they're still really, really angry. Uh, Robin gets thrown into ice cream. And he's dripping. And he's like, food. I'm going Why solo. Why do they have a giant container? Especially of, since it, it looks wasn't. Like melted Especially ice since cream? the factory wasn't even being used. Why was the ice cream and still it, there? Yeah, very and vibrantly Commissioner Gordon green. Works, walks in on like a lover's spat. <laughs> and he's like, oh shit, I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah. Uh, when they get back to the to the base, the uh, the Turkish bath. Yeah. I do like Poison Ivy being like, yeah, just make yourself fucking comfortable. Because yeah. he's yeah, already exactly. setting up yeah. his stuff. And everything's already half frozen. She yeah. tells him that, oh, she pulls the plug on Nora Freeze. She kicks the uh, obvious... Uh, Back of the modem internet cable yeah. on door freeze. <laughs> yeah, and then she's like, "Hey, Batman killed your wife," and even has the necklace in her hand to prove he, it. He, well, before that, like Mr. Freeze appropriately is like, "You're lying," and yeah. then the necklace somehow wins him over. But again, she's in like a dome. Like, how did she get into that? I don't know. Movie magic. <sighs> but yeah, she's because she's clearly dead at that point. Yeah. Because now you've 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 oh yeah you've brought microbes yeah. into a sealed environment. Yeah. So Arnold gets sad. And breaks a snow globe. And then he oh, tears. I don't remember that being And then it turns bad. into ice and then it it that was looks so it literally because we, we watched uh, like we can shit on CGI. Yeah. Um but water and ice I think they had mostly figured out by this point. This movie came out after Terminator 2. This movie came out after Jurassic Park. After mm -hmm. the Abyss. After the Abyss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is no excuse for this. Yeah. This is a multi-million dollar major corporation. 
Batman is like fucking like it's when you think about Americana, mm. Batman, Superman, McDonald's, yeah. Mickey Mouse. It's up there, dude. Yeah. There's no... Ex- I don't care that you're like... Joel Schumacher's like, look, the last one was dumb. We're selling toys. I'm just fucking dudes on the yeah. reg, whatever. You still got to make something that looks competent. Make a, make your version of the 60s TV show with Adam West and whatever. But it's still like... That can happen. Yeah. Somebody at Warner Brothers had to go, Joel... <laughs> Check your ponytail. <laughs> this can't happen. And then we find out their master plan. She's like, hey, you should freeze all of Gotham and the world. And he's like, okay. She's like, then my snake plants that I made, just, just go with it. I made snake plants. That look like, okay, so in my office right now, I have a prop to a movie that yeah. didn't get made a couple years ago, but it's still sitting there. And every time we show it to people, because when I, I brought it out, we pitched mm. a movie to James year, a year ago. Mm. He's like, oh, we need to do this. It looks so much better than this multi-million dollar Warner Brothers <sighs> Yeah. Thing. Audrey 2 and Little Shop looks Even way better. Even when we better. did the scene with Mr. Lobo. You played Audrey and I played Seymour. Yeah. Dixie Lobo, Mr. Lobo. Oh, my gosh. Built. She makes amazing puppets. So amazing. much better than this. Again, it's weird multi-million it's dollar Warner Brothers. Yeah. But their plan makes no sense. So the world's going to be ice, but then also you're going to make these. That's not how. These plants. Works. And then you're going to be the last two people alive. And it's like, how are you going to continue the human species? That's not going to work. Look, Akiva Goldsmith didn't think that far ahead. He's like, they Oscar called it, winner. Oscar Akiva winner. Goldsmith. Well, that was years later because he did a beautiful mind. Yeah. But what about Bane? Were they just going to kill off Bane? Oh, yeah. They're saying this in front of Bane. They're like, we'll be the last two people alive. And Bane's like, Bane? Bane has to, <laughs> Bane has to watch. Like <laughs> how Bane, Bane turns into Groot. Bane. I can only say his Bane. Bane? Bane? Well, he only says, like, Bane. <laughs> Bomb. Yeah. Gun. Like, he only and says like, one word. he's our so. mentally challenged son that we have. And the next movie so should have been like. kind of populate Yeah, more. the next movie should have been like Book of Eli, where they're like working through the like apocalypse oh with their mentally challenged yeah. son. Bang. So um, back at oh Wayne Manor, God. you find out Alfred's dying, yeah. finally. And the doctor and from again, General Hospital lets the him ja- know. The doctor from General Hospital. And I knew that because we were watching. I was like, oh, that's the guy from General Hospital. Because when I was coming home from school, mm. my mom used to have me tape. VHS tape. That's funny. General Hospital for her. Yeah. And it would be on and I'd be at to wait till four o'clock when it was over so I could turn it off to watch ESPN or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I would always see that guy. So that guy was always on General Hospital. I think he played a doctor on that too. Yeah. And he, uh, Batman figures out that Freeze found the cure for stage one of McGregor's yeah. disease, which is what Alfred has. Yeah. He's yes. like, oh, wow, we need Mr. Freeze to figure out this cure to help my buddy. How about uh, I'm a multimillionaire so... and I could send Alfred to like India yeah. and he would yeah. get like the cure there. Mm. But instead it's like, no, this dude is trying to kill me. I'm going to put the fucking Windex he gave me into no. my elderly father. Me- figure. Meanwhile, he also somehow Bruce Wayne is not able to be under Poison Ivy's trance anymore. That's what I, I don't get. Yeah. I yeah. don't get that. Because he figures out what's going on. He's trying to explain to Robin. Robin's like, I want a Robin signal in the sky. And he's like, fucker, I fought, I fought Mexican vampires. You listen to me now. <laughs> but also, how long has he been Robin for? A few years since Batman Forever, I guess. He's yeah. 30, 37 yeah. years old so now. why but, do you think you're that great? You think yeah. all of a sudden you're just going to replace Batman how about like that? I'm getting married. Move out. Move to Bloodhaven. That's where Robin becomes Nightwing yeah. in Bloodhaven. Which I'm sure they were going to build up to. But Bruce has to go to that gala. So many galas. Yeah. There's a gala every How five seconds in this. there always this many parties There's in Gotham? so many where parties and galas. All the most important people in Gotham. I'm surprised that no villain has just blown up a No, they do. But I mean, like, seriously, just below. It said they just make this every single time. They make a grand yeah. entrance first. Do they say to the security team, things. like, because we do too many games every year. I mean, like, look out for certain people. Yeah. It's not like, hey, somebody's going to come in here dressed as Grape Ape. <laughs> Check him out. We're doing a gala. We gotta have this fucking yeah. Bruce Wayne is gonna sell us this fucking uh, no telescope or whatever. And Every it's time. the villain shows up all the time, Every and they're time. just like, so the, is there also no like? There's no guest list or anything. Yeah. Commissioner Gordon should be like, hey guys, no public gatherings. Yeah. I'm sorry, so the, no more circuses, no yeah. more public <laughs> gatherings. Like they have to live under Sharia law in yeah. Gotham. But the whole thing is, like, maybe the people in Gotham are so, like, 
rich and entitled. <laughs> this is their sexual fetish. Like ventriloquist is gonna show up, Clayface is gonna show up, and they're like, oh no, they're they're getting into our thing. Mm. <laughs> you know, oh no, yeah. here comes Condiment King. <laughs> speaking of sexual stuff yeah kite uh, man speaking of sexual yeah. stuff uh poison ivy uh brainwashes commissioner gordon yeah to give her the keys to get oh, to the bat signal yeah. yeah and we realized like oh wow it didn't seem like there were keys on the bat signal before and we're like oh maybe chase Barini was just <laughs> yeah. using They're it like, too much she sexually harassed Everyone. Yeah, yeah Chase Meridian's gone. If you watch our Batman Forever yeah, review, we think it. maybe like a lot of the male officers are like, she won't leave us alone. Yeah. They're like, show us on the doll where Chase Meridian didn't touch you, you know? <laughs> but yeah, she walks um, away and she's like, oh, sorry, I don't like older men like yeah. that. Uh, so Pat Hingle was in Hang Em I. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred gave Barbara like a CD yeah. and was like, give it to my brother. Never open it. So of course she opens it. <sighs> And she figures out the password is his sister's name. After like 20 tries. So yeah. Yeah. we were gonna print out our notes for this and my printer in my office wasn't working. So I had to print it in the products office. Yeah. And I tried three different passwords and it locked me out. So I had to go upstairs. So Screenwave Media has better security <laughs> than the Batcave. Yeah. I think so, we've already realized so that. So she logs into it and then it's just a slideshow of all the Batman like the, stuff. So the password is Peg, which also <laughs> makes me think that, Ar that Alfred is into fucked up shit. You know? Yep. That was his sister's name. But it's like, wait, why was he sending this to his brother? And you were like, so he could be the new Alfred? But it's yeah. like... Shouldn't he have talked to Bruce Wayne about this? Yeah. Who's yeah. to say his brother even wants the job? Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck? He looks for the. He works for the Maharaja. Yeah. What if he's in cahoots with with Raja Ghoul? Yeah. Yeah. Raish or Raz? I say Raja Ghoul. Raja Ghoul. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Raz. Like Raja Goslin, the guy who directed uh, fucking. What did Raja Goslin? I don't know. He was the director. Look it up. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, which we call it? Bane and uh, Mr. Freeze are in their tiny tank, and they go to the uh, observatory. Again, okay, so Bane and and Mr. Freeze are in the tiny tank, the clown car. Yeah. And how did they get the bat signal back to the Turkish bath to put the Robin stencil on it? Like, wait, wasn't Mr. Question. Freeze? Yeah, huh? Mr. Freeze was driving, and Bane's in the back seat. And he's driving, yeah. but somehow they got the bat signal from the roof to the the clown car, yeah. and then back to the thing. And well, I'm you just, just like, see. Well, you didn't even see Mr. Freeze do it. You just see Poison Ivy and Bane kind of just take it off. Well, that just raises more questions. Yeah. How did they get it down? Because usually they're like, does oh, no I'm one keeping... see this? And it was on. Yeah. The bat signal light was on. Does no one see it jiggling around? Look, and people in this Gotham, is a bright ass light. People in New York have learned to look the other way. Yeah. <laughs> so people in Gotham are like, look, not my fucking problem. Dudes in rubber suits and their fucking <laughs> manservants and like dudes in moth wings and plant yeah. ladies. I don't care. So yeah, and then uh, Poison Ivy puts on the Robin signal. Yeah. Which is just a... Uh, an overlay. Yeah. Do you remember, like, you guys are young, ColecoVision or Intellivision used to have, like, a oh, yeah. thing you would put over the TV yeah, 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 before yeah. Nintendo and yeah, Atari, yeah. and it, it was kind of like that. They just put a Robin symbol yeah. over it, you know? Um, yeah, so he heads out reason. there. And for some reason, Bruce is already back at Bruce Man uh, yeah, Wayne Manor. Wayne Manor. Bruce Manor. He went to the party, <laughs> he came back. Uh, he and then Mr. Freeze. On, he kissed <laughs> yeah. Alfred on the neck. Yeah. Yeah, that was Because in weird. the subtitles, it said kiss on the neck. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's and then, and then Mr. Freeze is freezing the telescope. And it's the worst CGI ever. I the it was CGI great. Mr. Freeze is like, ha, 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 ha. It looks bad. Uh, yeah, it was like, he, and then, he, 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 on the subtitles. And then Barbara's in the Bat Cave. But she's coming out from where the Batmobile would normally come out. And the Batmobile's just gone, by okay, the way. Okay, so in the last one, Robin parkours through the yeah. bookshelf <laughs> down the steps and then yes. Max Hedrum I... Alfred turns the thing on yeah and then there's the bat cave she went through the sewer <laughs> yeah. up through the bat car yeah. where the bat car is not there anymore and then Max Hedrum Alfred who's jor yeah, from he, Man of Steel. Alfred has figured out how to put his conscience into a computer and he's just sitting on this brother, technology then. 
That's a good question. So he's all like, hey, I knew you'd make it down here, Barbara. Is it? Oh, also before it was going intruder alert, intruder yeah. alert. Once and then he again, does the max headroom skipping. What if but every... it's me, it's Barbara. Like, what if every thug who came into the Batcave was like, <laughs> I expected like fucking yeah. army of the dead style <laughs> traps for this. Yeah. Yes. But instead it's just like, oh shit. Yeah. It's just an elderly British man so telling he us tell, everything. He tells her, I was, I knew you'd be down here and I expected it. By the way, I made a bat suit for you. And it's like, does she want to fight? Crime? Did he? I'd like to help Batman and Robin. I anticipated you would, and took the liberty to create something in your size. Suit me up, Uncle Alfred. All so. you know, she could ride a motorcycle, and that was it. And that's uh, yeah, that yeah and Robin it. could just do gymnastics, laundry. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, look, I've been raising this fucking dude since he was a baby because his parents got killed because they went to go see the Mask of Zorro. Yeah. But I'm just fucking. I'm putting flunkies out there. Like, shouldn't he be going out and getting, like, mercy? Shouldn't Batista yeah. come and help <laughs> Batman? He's like, Please stop bringing up that other awful I'm movie. I'm just <laughs> saying. Alfred is intentionally trying to get Bruce Wayne killed because Bruce Wayne didn't realize that he was sick. Yes. Like, he's like, hey, I've been coughing blood. Fuck you. You have the girl from Clueless. I hope you get murdered by fucking yeah. Commando. So she suits uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. And Suit me terrible. up, Uncle Alfred. And why doesn't she have nipples? Everyone else has nipples. Yes, that is exactly. Why don't you put nipples That's on the... That's sexist. I think so, it is. She and then Robin, then Robin goes to Poison Ivy, and you think he's going to turn on Batman. But it comes out. Oh, you also have to say how the layer is. It's like he the Rainforest Cafe. In. Yeah, the Rainforest Cafe. And she comes out of a Venus flytrap. He's walking on um, lily, lily pads, pads yeah. across, even though there is a walkway, which yeah. you also said in the commentary. It's just, but yeah, this she controls all the plants. Yeah. Yes. She has full power. Yeah. And these are her babies. Yeah. And she goes to kiss him to kill him, but he's got rubber lips. Wouldn't it be great if you, like, okay, so sometimes I wear, like, one of, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm old and I try to not look old. I put on, like, one of those face mask things, yeah. and it's, <laughs> like, know. cucumber, and you peel it off. Yeah. Like, what if you, like, what if he thought it was on there, because Bruce Wayne told it was there, and he just fucking rips off his lip, and he's like, oh! <gasps> <laughs> it's a whole so, yeah. movie. She starts like fighting him. She throws him in the water. Yeah. Batman comes in. Oh, wait. When he's thrown in the water is the most embarrassing <gasps> reverse that shot was in movie yeah, history. Bad. That okay. was amazing. Remember in Star Wars A New Hope when yeah. Luke is like thrown down by the sand person? Yeah. That's not an offensive term. That's what they're called. That's in the what movie. they're called. Uh, and the, the guy goes, and they just yeah. reversed it. Yeah. In this, Robin comes up. Goes back down and comes up and it's just like it's it's like it's a bad. it's like a YouTube poop yeah. thing and I'm like this but is it's an not, a major motion. It's not picture. as bad as yeah. Batman getting caught up in the vines <gasps> and then they didn't want his cape and to hang strings. down so there's strings attaching the cape to his knees again. Crystal, yes. I'm starting to think that your favorite movie yeah. is very good. <laughs> so they're both trapped. Yeah, who's gonna save the day? Bat, bat girl. girl who's not wearing a bat mask. Yeah. And she has the domino mask, but yeah. she doesn't have the bat mask. But she comes in, she's like, girl power, and beats up Poison Ivy. And they're like, both not, why are they both wearing heels? I don't understand why every movie I see when the girls are kicking ass, they're wearing heels. Yeah, because it doesn't make Wonder fucking Woman sense. Wonder Woman land again. No. Their knees would be so fucked up but if they fought super. like that. I don't Does know. Black no Widow sense. wear heels? I forget if she has wedges or not. Yeah. I, she might have like a thick heel boot. Okay. Mm. I think she has a thick heel boot, but that's still fucks it's terrible. Up your knees. And but again, this movie's super woke because she's like, they give women a bad name, and then ba Batman's like, like, what that. do they call you? And she's like, like Batgirl. Girl. And he's like, that's like, not PC. What about, what about Bat Person? And this or was Bat Woman. This was 1997, so Joel Schumacher was on to something. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so they, Poison Ivy though gets pushed <sighs> into, into her, her plan. Her own plan eats plan. her. Which makes no Because sense. Uma Thurman like... Curses! Curses! No! Uma Thurman's like, yo, I got other curses. shit to do. Mm -hmm. Can yep. you leave the episode now? Why did it Why did it eat her Bye. and not, like, yeah, let it, her go? That made no... There was nothing. There was no... Akiva Goldsmith. Nothing. We know you're watching this episode. <laughs> 
Please answer us. So speaking Why? of things that don't she make sense. She controls all of them. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of things that don't make sense, yeah. they now suddenly have snowmobiles. And snow suits. Did they go back to the cave? They had to I go don't back know. To the back cave. Oh, well, because uh, Gotham is covered in ice right yes, now. Yes, uh, Gotham yes. is covered in ice. Everything is frozen. The yeah. Asian dude and the black girl who become the comic relief in the third yeah. act are in there, and he's using the telescope to and the freeze satellites everything. to freeze and everything. And the dog freezes mid peeing because right. that's funny. Right. So they they come out, and Robin's in like a fucking Florida Everglades fan boat. Yes. And Ro- Batgirl is on the Batgirl. And now she has a mask. Batgirl has now a mask has, and the yeah. motorcycle, and she looks like Yvonne Craig for mm. three seconds. Yes. Yeah, that was just And great. then something happens, and she jumps off the motorcycle, but then the motorcycle it continues to ride going. despite that every other motorcycle in the movie has wiped out. Yeah. Yes. But hers just keeps riding. Yeah. So she, 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 are, she now has a Bat motorcycle. Yeah. And she Again, also has a snowsuit. Did so Alfred, Alfred make yeah. her a snowsuit? Did Alfred make her a snowmo snow I'm motorcycle? I'm starting to think she's a little spoiled. She is kind of spoiled. Yeah, yeah. She's British. The snowsuit yeah. makes no sense for Batgirl. Uh, his big snowmobile destroys the and freeze then that tank. Suit was later repainted for Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Yeah. Yeah. And then they go into the observatory. Yeah. Um, Where she just here. knows how to a. Ride the motorcycle, B, fire the yeah. bat projectiles. Yeah. yeah, she all so, of a sudden knows how to use all the weapons. She knows how to fight. She knows how to do flips and everything. What the fuck? Mm. Again, this movie's terrible, and I don't know why more That's YouTubers have not made fun of it in yeah. the last 20 years. So there's a bunch of fighting. Yeah. Uh, they land where Bane is, Robin yeah. and Batgirl. I'm good. I fell off my seat. <laughs> and they both they both use their feet to kick off his tube. Yeah. Which every fight with Bane, you should always go right for the tube. Every yeah. fight yeah. in every medium, they always punch him and stuff just and right just, away. Tube, right, right away. But it, it's right out. You ever There's see no- the uh, Simpsons episode with, uh, who's the guy who directed uh, Grizzly Man? Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog. He's in it. And apparently he was... Augustus Glump grown up and yeah. he's like sometimes I dream about the tube I was caught in the tube <laughs> that's funny that uh, is funny. also Batgirl rips off her mask right away yeah, yeah. and has a Which domino mask under underneath her mask. the yeah. mask I don't have a mask under my ass I'm just an ugly ass fucking <laughs> so while they're fighting they realize like hey wait a minute we can uh, we can get the satellites to reflect the sun and melt all the ice yeah so then they use that and they hit Mr. Freeze with it and he's like, ah! Because he's apparently a vampire. Yeah. And then they're using the sunlight to melt all the ice and yeah. shit. It's so stupid. But then he's basically like, kill me, Batman. Yeah. But all the people who de- who unfreeze, yeah. like, they would have brain damage or yeah. like their lungs They'd be would be dead. They weren't dying. breathing for a long the time. The dog, you know, is yeah. dead now. The cop who was inside the car, there was a movie with uh, Alyssa Milano where she was frozen inside a car. Mm hmm. The people just open it and they have ice on them. Like, no, if you're inside the vehicle, you would just suffer from that. You wouldn't have you're thinking ice way too hard. For yeah, this. Joel Schumacher. They're was just like, like kind of glistening, kind of moist, and that's it. You forget the Batman also saved those two scientists and then just left them on a big pile of yeah. ice. And like, and is that like, going to eh. melt? Are they going to drown? They'll figure. <laughs> anyway, it out. Uh, so they're melting the ice everywhere. Mm-hmm. They've saved the day. Yeah. Uh, George Clooney looks like shit in his suit. His chin is half hanging out. Yeah. It's kind of like sunken. I don't. I think it might have been a reshoot or something. He doesn't look as good as me. Yeah, no. And then um, <laughs> Mr. Freeze is like, kill me. And he's like, no, I want to save you. I want you to continue your research. Your wife's actually alive. Somehow. Somehow. And he's like, please give me the cure. and We'll figure That's out something. Weird. Really. Just when do they have Alfred. time to go yeah. save the wife? He's like, I got to save my elderly At daughter. One- man. I don't know. Crystal is your favorite movie. You tell yeah. me. Magic. Okay. So he agrees. Everything's magic. Which I kind of like that they didn't. This is the only one one of the villains doesn't die. And they it, actually come to an agreement with one of the villains. This is kind of the only one or two where the villain is like redeemed. Yeah, a little bit. kind of goes into the Dini thing where it's like yeah. the ends justify the means. Yeah. Mm. But then, okay, he's like, here, take two of these and call me in the morning. And he gives them two of the little vials that are filled yeah. with Windex. Yeah. And Batman who's supposed to be the world's smartest detective, just hooks them up two files of Windex to yeah. his fucking elderly dad. Yeah, wait, can we talk about the error we found out in the scene? They're wearing the regular suit. Yes. yes. Robin is wearing his regular suit yeah. in the scene. 
and then they and then cut it, to the wide shot, and the, a pizza delivery man came. Yeah, and their regular Batman, the costume, regular Batman, Bat, not regular the Batman costume, yes. is laying the on the floor. The floor. Thing. When so they it was very get, odd. It's you're. So I'm guessing. <sighs> the pizza what man. What did they come in? back in through the back cave? Yes. No, they so, came in through the front door. <laughs> but and you like, would come through the back cave because you're also you have your whatever happens to the vehicles too. Do they just get what? What happens? Nothing. But it you doesn't get dressed, matter. You go through the back cave, and that's when all like the your outfits and everything get sued up in there in the back cave. So wouldn't you unsuit in the back cave? It made more sense when they slid down the fucking yeah. pole. Yeah. And they were but dressed. Now it looks like they're getting. Undressed in, in the living other. room in front of each other. But what about in their rooms? Like they have regular clothes on. Do they just unsuit I, and well, walk I have to around assume butt they ass wear naked? like fucking Under Armour under their shit, right? Like, like Iron Man did for that one movie. And yeah, then like never Batman's again. not just like free balling it. Like he's <laughs> like Robin. Check it out. Let's go fight the but fucking Ventura. But that's a Ventura. lot of yeah. clothes to throw on. But their suits are laying in the thing. So the pizza guy shows up and he's like. Yeah, dude, we know you're Batman. Like, <laughs> we know that you're like, and now everywhere. there's a girl here too. We don't ask questions. Just don't let that shit fuck up the downtown. Yeah. Here's your pizza. Yeah, and then uh, they decide they're all going to be partners. And you know, last movie, Batman was like real hesitant to recruit Robin, and yeah. now he's like, okay, Batgirl, you can be You're in there. You're completely untrained. But yeah, all right. we're going to need a bigger cave. And then they all Why run. Why not have the girl and whose Alfred, hair like, doesn't move throughout all her fighting <laughs> and stays perfectly pardoned and beautiful Alfred throughout Alfred comes the out fights. and he's like uh, fucking the uncle in uh, the grandpa in Willy Wonka. And yes. Yeah. I'm good now. Woo! <laughs> oh, this man. movie sucks. Yeah, it sucks. I will say, you motherfucker, we went another two hours. <laughs> I'm very tired. Uh, I will say, this is one of the rare occasions where a bad movie had a director apologize mm -hmm. for it. If there's anybody watching this that, let's say, loved Batman Forever and went into Batman and Robin with great anticipation, if I, if I disappointed them in any way, then I really want to apologize, because it wasn't my intention. My intention was just to entertain them. I would give so many people less shit if they were like, hey, that movie I made, it was pretty bad. Hey, man, my bad. After this, he did uh, Eight Millimeter, which I really liked. Yeah. James and I have talked about that. Justin and I have talked about that yeah. many times. Uh, Phone Booth, which I thought was really good, you know? Yeah, uh, it, what was it called? Um, the one where the intruders break into Nicolas Cage's house? Yeah, yeah. No, that one was terrible. That I know. Was, that was still, fucking awful. Nicolas Cage is my favorite actor Intruder or something like that? It's bad. So uh, uh, somebody sent me a Mandy poster <gasps> in the mail. I oh, love Mandy. I framed Mandy. it and put it in my bedroom. That wasn't it, in the mailbag episode. No, it came to my apartment because oh. somebody messaged me privately. Oh, uh, someone's popular. <laughs> well, very famous. But anyway. I like Joel Schumacher. Yeah. I... This movie, I get it. I understand. Yeah. It sucks. It's bad. It's yeah. really bad. CGI. I acting. don't know why Crystal likes it so much. Because uh, she likes Poison Ivy. I do. It's just nice to see Poison Ivy in a movie, really. I would like to see Poison Ivy. I like Ivy to see in a good movie. Properly. In a good movie yeah. with a good backstory, use actual her good origin story, which would be I mean, great. you know, in the but end... This is my first, that was my first time really yeah. seeing Poison Ivy as a kid. And look, in the end, you know, we got a better Bane movie, the best Bane movie, because I'm in it. Uh, so, you know, it all worked out in the end there. Now we need a good Mr. Freeze. We got one in Gotham that was okay. You, Holy shit. Yeah, it is pretty hot. I can't deal with it anymore. All right, it I'm is done. You're done. Okay, I so make sure, <laughs> make sure to uh, go to Patreon and download our commentary track. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. Oh my God, this was so long. Yeah, okay. Newt wasn't hammered this time. He wasn't, and somehow it still managed to go too long. No more Batman movies. <laughs> more Batman. Here, 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 here's Dark Knight Rises review. It's great. All right, goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talk, talking about tapes.